Uh, welcome to the softer side of life. Yeah, it is that weekly appointment that we have with you to look at all things uh, soft crafting and needle craft. And we bring you loads of different things from uh, crochet and knitting through to uh, machine stitching and quilting and fabrics. There's really loads of wonderful, great stuff. And there's always wonderful fabrics, always uh, great tools as well that are gonna make your life in the sewing room or anywhere you choose to get your stitch on uh, that bit easier, uh, which is fabulous. Now we've got loads in the show today. I definitely say to you, get over to the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu, uh, where you can shop the show and see absolutely everything that we have coming up for you in the show. Now I know you've noticed it already, what is in front of me right here. We have got brand new Peter Rabbit on the show for you today. Couple of different bits here for you. You've got this gorgeous panel, uh, which is this one here, which you're gonna be able to do loads of different projects with. And I've got a gorgeous fat quarter bundle as well. Take a look at these gorgeous Peter Rabbit festive fabrics that you've got just here. So got this lovely blue one. It's all kind of uh, icy blues and, and steely greys, which is uh, gorgeous. Now, I'm excited about this show, but someone who is peak excited, I mean, her excitement is off the chart for this show. She's in a bit of a giggly mood as well, so it's gonna be fun. Uh, Bernie's here with me. Bernie, how are you? Are you sure? I am. I've got the giggles today. <laughs> I'm so excited to be back because I was, I was here a couple of weeks ago with Ben and we had a right laugh and I thought, yeah, will they allow me to come back? Because we just, I mean, the whole show flew over, as you know, <laughs> how quick it goes. Um, but the honestly, this fabric, I mean, when we, when we get the list of what's going to be on the show, and there's always one thing that jumps out, to me it was this Peter Rabbit. I mean, mm. it, it, bring, it takes you back to your childhood, doesn't did it? it with Beatrix out you, Potter. It did, it hopped out. <laughs> but you've got Beatrix Potter, there's all of the, we were trying to go through all of the characters earlier. So if you some know the characters, let us know Apparently which are your favourite. mischievous, Bernie, we were learning, weren't we? Yes. Yes, some of them were a little bit naughty, we think, or so we hear. Um, but yeah, but Beatrix Potter goes back, oh, I don't know how many years, I mean, I remember when I was little, obviously that was only a few years ago, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the, these pa the panel we've got, when you see what we've, when, when I've started going through what you can make with just the one panel, and then you've got those fat quarters, and you get five fat quarters in there as well, which often, with licensed fabric like this one, you maybe only get four, Yep. in there but you're actually getting five getting in five. this set could so you just hold really that good. panel up for us bernie a panel for anyone that's maybe unfamiliar with a fabric panel what's it for how are we going to use it uh how's what's it designed for because well, it's not something we see a lot of here in the uk to be fair is it fabric panels i've, I've been cutting into mine sure because obviously I'm, <laughs> i've been preparing with it but what you've got there now that's like the full width of your standard fabric which is about 110 centimeters wide and on this one, you're getting that beautiful one, which is, Pe that's Peter Rabbit's mum, I think. I don't know Peter what you call Rabbit's Peter mom. Rabbit's mum. Mummy Rabbit. Um, and it's got a wreath round it with, the, you've got the robins on there, the stockings on there. So to me, that's shouting out to make a wreath. Yes. You've got the faint in the background, the white, but you've got lovely little sort of delicate silver snowflakes and stars. And then at the top and at the bottom, if I hold you up, you can see the bottom there, you're getting all these other different designs as well. I'm actually going to make You're going to drop just... that and have disappeared, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make a lovely little fabric gift bag. Oh, you can put it down now, Bernie. Can I hold can me? I'm so aching. I see how long they keep it. You know when you get Your down Your arms must be hurting thinking, is all I could think. Are they going to say up a bit, down a bit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's the fabric panel. If you want to grab the fabric panel, $9.99. I need to let you know it is brand new today. You've not seen it before. It's your first chance to get your hands on it uh, right now here on Crafters TV. It's been very, very busy uh, already on pre-order for that. I need to also uh, just give you a price check on the fat quarters as well. So you're getting five of them, uh, as Bernie said, which is awesome. Let me open one of these out for you as well. If you're not familiar with the size of a fat quarter, I always used to think, Bernie, that fat quarter was a really funny name for a piece of fabric you know it, is, it could have it? been called like a stocky quarter or is a curvy it? a curvy quarter no a fat quarter it funny is. name it's a strange name isn't it but there's a difference between if you buy if you go in the shop and you buy off the board a quarter of fabric they'll basically cut about nine or ten inches and it'll be one long strip which is quite narrow so you're limited to what you can make with it so what someone in there 
great wisdom years ago decided that if you about to get a metre of fabric, cut it in that way and that way, you're getting the four quarters and then obviously they called it the fat quarter. But yeah, I like the curvy the curvy quarter, I like that better. <laughs> um, absolutely. It does say, a description there says it's a four piece uh, collection. I've got five pieces here, so we'll just double check uh, exactly what that is. However, uh, stock wise, I need to let you know already, 20% of this stock, a fifth of the stock on the fat quarter bundle has sold out and gone. Now, are you ready? Oh yes, it's back. It is on the show. <gasps> I, so I need to tell you, so it's basically the, the Be Happy fabric uh, that we launched here um, on Crafters TV uh, a while back now. It's my absolute favourite. Now, I used to live in Manchester for a while and I'm actually moving back to Manchester, fingers crossed, next week. And the B is basically the symbol of Manchester. So I think that is why I love it so much. Now, we've got for you the fabric roll. Now, the fabric roll is great because what you've got, you get 18 strips on each of these, but it means that you've got all of the different fabrics that are available within that range. Now, let me show you what those strips are like. This one is just gorgeous. But this is what the size of your fabric strip. So let me just hold this up so you can see. So you're getting 18 strips uh, that are this shape. Now, it's known as a fabric strip roll. Uh, some uh, companies and brands refer to it as a, a jelly roll. So you may have heard it called that as well. Now, I know you're just thinking, well, what am I going to do with a load of strips? But check this out. Uh, look at this gorgeous cushion uh, that we've got just there. You now you get two sets of the 18 piece fabric rolls. So you're going to get a buy one, get one free situation. $17.99 or $17.95 gets you both. Uh, Bernie, fabric strip rolls, they are very, very popular, aren't they? But I think maybe newer sewers would look at a strip roll and think, well, why do I want a load of cut up bits of fabric? It maybe doesn't make sense immediately. It No, it doesn't. You're right, Joe. And the great thing is with design rolls or fabric strip rolls, jelly rolls, whichever, wherever you buy them from, like you say, a different company has different names. What you're doing is for a fraction of the price, you are getting one of each fabric in the range. So in our range here, we've got six fabrics. If you wanted each of them and you didn't want to spend the money to buy a half meter of each one, you actually, if you get in the strip roll, you're getting pieces of those, I'll say pieces of eight, pieces of six, Six, no, 18, isn't it? 18, 18 in each pack, so you're getting 36 in total. But you're getting all of those different fabrics. And then these are great because they are pre-cut. So if you want to make a quilt like this, oh, I'm going to hold my arms up again. Bernie. This is called a rail fence design. A whale fence? Rail, as in train. A wheel, a wheel. Train, <laughs> rail. <Tra> oh, rails. <laughs> <laughs> That's the accent, Joe. That's the accent. <laughs> Oh dear. It's gonna be one of those shows, isn't it? It's like when Sarah so says fence. It's like when Sarah says Bo now, she makes me say it instead. <laughs> a, a, a rail fence quilt. Yes. Oh, got it. Rail. Yes, okay. Rail. Thanks. Oh it sounds weird me saying it like that. But yeah, so with these as well, because they're pre-cut, so if you're concerned or worried about your accuracy of your cutting, obviously oh, I'm gonna bring you some brilliant tools today um that are gonna help you with that. But these are a great starter point. And the other thing these are great for is the binding. Oh, yes. So when you're doing the binding on your quilts, you've got this strip is already cut to your two and a half inch. All you're going to be doing is folding it in half to put your binding on. Or if you haven't double binding, fold one way, one the other way and in. You've got it all pre-cut for you. But like I say, I like it because it, it gives you... A, a step into that range of fabric. So like I say, if you aren't sure, if you can't afford to go for a half meter of everyone in the range, when you're getting this, or like when we do the um, five inch squares as well, you're getting one of each of those fabrics. So it's absolutely perfect to have in your stash. And then you can always add other colors to it as well to make them go further. That's what I often do. And I, I, I think, oh, I'm gonna make these last as long as possible. I have got a roll here that I may open during the show, Joe. I'm not sure. Oh, I might. You I, might I just open like it. To, I, but see, that's what you're getting too. So you're getting buy one, get, get buy one, get one free, isn't it? It really? is, but so right off. You've got one to look at, and then you've got the other one 
to make something with. 1439 if you're a platinum that's member a, on that, that's which a is awesome value for money. Do you know what it feels like? It's a bit like the sewing version of, you know when you have your hair cut and it's clippered and it feels all funny at the back? That's what it feels like. It feels really, really tactile and lovely. Uh, you'll not want to, well the great thing is you have got one to stroke and uh, one to use, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, do grab those. 10% uh, of a big stock already gone there on those, so you've got to be busy on that one. Uh, right, next up, I need to show you, we're going to have a look at these beautiful cotton fabrics that I've got right in front of me here. Um, now, this one here that you've got is the antique gold. Now, the great thing is about these, these are by John Loudon, uh, who supplies a lot of our really, really high quality fabrics here. The great thing is about buying fabric from us here at Crafts Companion is that it would always be quilting quality cotton, which is awesome. And the other thing to note is if you buy more than one meter, so say with this antique gold one, let's say you bought uh, this is a half meter piece. So say you bought four of these, we would send this to you as one two meter piece. So it's really great. If you're doing things like uh, dressmaking or you want to do larger projects, things like uh, curtains or uh, pelmet covers and things like that, you know that if you're buying larger, um, you know, larger, you're buying multiples, we'll give it you in the larger piece, which is great. Very few companies now uh, still do that cut by hand service. So that's one of the great things about uh, buying uh, your, uh, um, fabrics from us here at Crafters TV. So that is the uh, antique gold. Been very, very busy on that one. You've also got this one here, which is your bottle green, which is really, really good. I think the green with that design works particularly well. The next one we've got here, that's the orchid. Isn't that just stunning? And that one works really well with the other one here we've got, which is the purple there, uh, as you can see. Really, really beautiful. And also, You've got this one here, which is the sunshine. Now, I need to let you know, we've already had a lot of sellouts in these ranges of fabric. So, what I would say is, a lot of the stock has already gone across all of these colors. So, um, definitely grab them right now. And as I said, if you're ordering multiples of those, uh, we'll do our best to cut them in those larger pieces for you. The price is also amazing, £3.19 or £4.79 if you want to get your hands on those. Uh, right, still loads of other stuff to come in the show. That was all the fabrics uh, out the way for you which I know you guys always absolutely adore. We've got some fantastic dyes available for you on the show. Now, these are our multimedia dyes. Check out the saving on that. You're saving $47.99 or $47.94. Uh, brilliant, brilliant deal here. Uh, it's a Gemini Jewel and Clamshell eight piece patchwork dyes bundle. Uh, and these are fantastic for, of course, using with cotton. Think about using them with um, even things like your linens, think about um, faux leather, real leather. Our rose gold multimedia dyes will work on a whole host of different products uh, and um, materials that you might want to use them on. Uh, very busy there. Right, the stencils, these are the three quilting stencils and you get the machine feet in here as well. So uh, you're getting included that quilting uh, machine feet set also. Uh, brilliant, brilliant price again on this one, 38.99 or $47 if you want to get that in the US, which is uh, an awesome price. You're basically, in essence, paying for the feet set and we're giving you the stencils totally free of charge, which is awesome. $38.99 or $47. Uh, we've got the quilting pattern reference guide for you, uh, $23.99 or $27.99. Now use this in conjunction with those stencils that we just showed you, but this is also awesome for a load of other jobs. If you just struggle with squaring off your projects or uh, you know working out your um, where your lines need to be, this is gonna really help you with that, $23.99 or $27.99 if you want that. Uh, we've also got the shape cutter collection on the show for you as well. Bernie always raves about these. Uh, you can get all five of them here for $59.97 or $74.85, which is awesome. You've got your hexagon, uh, you've got your diamond in there, you've also got your, um, your all those different shapes that you'll need in there, which is awesome. Uh, we've also got the Totally Tiffany storage, uh, fabric storage bundle on the show for you. These are awesome because it ha allows you basically to wrap your fabric around uh, the centerpiece that you can see at the top and then you store it in like a book almost. So if you want to put it on a shelf, uh, you want to put them into a large binder or something like that, you've got loads of different options when it comes to storing. It keeps it all nice and neat as well. 10% uh, has gone there, $29.49 or $31.18. Uh, it would not be a softer side show without some stick and spray and some stick and stay and that is what we've got for you. It is 
is UK only, uh, but you've got a 25% saving, which is awesome. Uh, 12 pounds if you're in the UK for that one. Uh, and already 10% of that is gone. Now, so many of you are already chatting away with me over on social media. How rude of me not to tell you how to get in touch during this show. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, of course, uh, Crafters TV over on Facebook drop into uh, the live feed there or across on our YouTube channel, uh, you can pop into the comments there. Any questions that you've got, and I understand that, I know a lot of you maybe were uh, predominantly paper crafters that have learned to sew. Some of you hardcore sewers out there, but any questions that you might have, get them into us as we go through the show. I can see Sarah's in from Australia, Diana in Indiana, uh, Shunter's here, Fran, Robin, Julie, uh, Arena, Carol as well. A lot of people talking about the fabrics. Rosalyn saying that fabric is uh, so cute. Sarah's looking forward to some gig Giggles. You might get a few of those today, Sarah, uh, if you're lucky. Carol, uh, a woman after my own heart, she loves the Be Happy fabric, as uh, as do I. As does Alison, uh, actually, as well. And Evelyn and Mary saying hi from Colorado and Wisconsin. Uh, we're going to have loads of chatter as we go through it, so it's going to be lots of fun. Uh, now, Bernie, I believe you're going to kick us off with this brand new uh, Peter Rabbit panel that we've got. Is that right? I am. But I am just, it's lovely. It's absolutely, it's fantastic quality fabric as well, Joe, because it's 100% cotton. So you're not going to have any issues when you're washing it, ironing it. The colour's not going to run or anything like that. It's absolutely fabulous. And like I say, you've got the first one is the, the centrepiece, which is sort of the star of the panel, really. Um, is that, to me, all you need to do on there is put another bit of fabric on the top, right sides together, sew around following a guide around that wreath and cut it, turn it through, cut it, put a little loop on the top and you've got a wreath, you know, you've got a lovely, and it's something different. And also as well, obviously, if you get the children involved, help them choose what they want to do with it. And the rest of the panel you get, like I say, you're getting these three blocks along the top. Obviously, I've cut out of mine. I've been a bit naughty, but I haven't because I need to prep, don't I? And I'm going to turn it round just so you can see that the other way. Now, I know these are upside down, but it's just so I can show you this bottom piece here. Now, when I cut my panels out from the other end, I cut them out, the two that I wanted, and then I had this strip of fabric here. I didn't throw that away. I've actually used it to make the handle for the little gift bag I'm going to do. So none of your fabric is wasted. And I actually had an extra little bit here that was left that I've kept that when I make the wreath for the centre at home, I've got a little tab for the, for the wreath to hang as well. So you can use every inch of it. And we're saying this is the width of your fabric, so it's about 110 centimetres wide, 44 inches, 43, 44 inches. I've actually measured it here on my A1 folding mat that we've also got on the show. I love this big mat. 25 and a half inches wide, so you're getting a lot of fabric in there. So I'm going to show you how we're going to make a little gift bag. So I'm just going to pop this out of the way. I don't want to scrumple it up because I've ironed it once. Don't want to be doing any more ironing. I only iron my, my fabric, Joe, you know, in my sewing room. Do you? That's the only time. <laughs> do you not iron when you're... Do you not do the iron? I actually quite like the ironing, you know. Unless it's clothes that I need to iron. Right. Otherwise, oh. if it's clothes that I don't need to iron, then, yeah, I don't... I really I'm iron. one of those that irons the bedding, you know, Bernie. Oh, yeah, my mum... Well, my mum used to iron our socks and our really? underwear when we were little. <laughs> oh, no, I've never gone that far. But, yeah, I definitely iron the bedding. Yeah, no, I don't iron. I just fold it up nice. If you fold it up nice, it, but I, I don't know if that's me with fabric because I do that with fabric. I don't like screwing fabric up and just shoving it in a box. So keep it all nice and neat. Keep it nice. Keep Absolutely. it nice. Yeah. So I've cut two of these panels out. Now I'm going to make a gift bag and I'm going to have a design on each side. So I love this one with the slaves. You've got all the little presents in there. But what you could do is actually do a plain one on the other side. So you're getting six of these on the panel, apart from that big centerpiece. So there's six gift bags, because if you only put one on one side, but I'm going to be luxurious and have two. And I've just noticed on here as well, I've spotted something else. He's holding a little parcel there next to the Christmas tree. That's so cute. And then I've decided on one of the fat quarters for my center. And I've gone for this dark one here as a contrast. And again, can we see how you've got that wreath again that's mirroring the panel? So these fat oh, quarters yeah. go so they can be used as standalone or they can actually be used with the panel as well. So, you know, you, you can mix and match them. And the designs are mirrored 
on each one. So if we go to this one again, you've got this one and one of the small ones here is him jumping over his present. This is him yeah. being a bit naughty, jumping about, knocking presents over. That's in the big panel as well. So you can see where they all do it. And I love this one. H is for Hoppy Christmas for this. And there is actually five pieces in this. So I think, have we changed? Yes, we've changed it now on the screen. So we have got, it is five in this one. Oh, and I've just spotted D is for dashing through the snow. Oh, I'm learning new ones. You know, when you haven't looked at something properly, <laughs> and then you, you find see something it, yeah, new. You always extra bits, don't you? Yeah, there, which is awesome. yeah. It was like the Enchanted Forest fabric we had, we brought out the other week. I didn't realise till I was actually on air that it had a little fox in it. And Ooh. I hadn't noticed that when I was making, I was using the fabric and I'd used it for weeks making stuff. Hadn't even noticed. So fat quarter there, what I've done is I've cut two blocks out the same size. We have um, just, uh, I've got a little bit, I've got breaking news for you, Bernie. Ooh. It is definitely a five piece fat quarter pack that you are going Brilliant. to get, which is awesome. So if it says on the website, it's a four piece, don't worry about it. You're going to get five pieces. You basically get two of that lovely light blue one there. Uh, so you're going to get two of the light blue one, which is awesome. And then you get the white, the dark blue, and you also get uh, the silver on there as well, which is awesome. So you'll get all of those uh, for $9.99. Uh, so uh, ignore what it says on the website. A quarter of those has already gone now though, Bernie. Brilliant. So ignore the website, listen to us, Joe. That's, that's perfect, isn't it? Everyone should just listen to us. Just we're listen just... to us. We're, we're usually yeah. right, aren't we? we? we in the know. We in us the in the know, know indeed. Yeah, we in the know. Um, now, the other thing with this bag, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some wadding in just to give it a little bit of oomph. So... I think um, you can use an interfacing on here, a wadding, a foam interface, and whatever you prefer to have. But for some some way, we need to attach this on. So this is where I'm going to use our stick and safe fabric. So this is the temporary spray that we've got. And I know this is on today with the um, permanent one as well, the orange can, which I'm going to be using later as well. And all you're going to do is just, you don't need a lot. It lasts an an age it really does you just spray in a little bit always spray your wadding and then just just gently push it down so I'm going to do the other side and what this does it just makes it just gives something that little bit of form and structure Um, I say depending on what weight you use you can have it um, you know even even sturdy oh, will that just like. wash away one is that the stick and stay or stick and spray you've got there so this is stick and spray and yet yeah, this one just washes away um, but what will happen is if you've positioned it wrongly or you change your mind, it just peels off. Awesome. So you see how it just peels off, but it's repositionable. So you can just get it back in the place where you want it and pop it down. So this, I mean, I, I use this all the time. It, it, it's still my number one product for me. It's the one product that I use. I would probably say every day, apart from my sewing machine. Obviously. Of course you know um and i do have a lot of favorite products but this is my number one product and i think it always will be it really you will know be. you like you remind me of debbie fisher <laughs> everything's her favorite debbie is fisher it? oh that's my favorite and i was like no hang on, you said that like, <laughs> no that was my favorite round die this is my favorite so she's got a favorite everything debbie but yeah that she is really definitely has. my my favorite uh, i'll have to ask debbie what her favorite spray is <laughs> <laughs> Right, so these are going to be the outside panels on my bag and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them right sides together and I'm just going to sew down the sides and across the bottom just to form the bag. Awesome. And when I start, I always do a little bit of reverse at the top and if you find you're going through a lot of layers and it struggles, then just lengthen your stitch. So and just any, gonna... any um, just like a regular stitch is this then, Benny, Bernie? Do you anything like stitch lengths and things like that or width? Is anything you need yeah, to be so, mindful of? Uh, for bag making, normally I'll put it on, when you switch your machine on, it'll have a standard setting. Our Gemini Stitch Pro is 2.5 length, so that's millimetres. Yeah. Um, because I'm going through two cares, two, two cares, two layers of cotton and two layers of wadding, I've actually just lengthened my stitch to three. And it just stops because if I lengthen it down, I don't know how well you'll be able to tell here on the machine. Can you see how it it's, doesn't go through? It's gone through, but it feels like it's struggling. And that's because of the number of layers you're going through. And that's on any machine 
just lengthen your stitch and then just go around and when I get to the bottom I always like to sew off the end rather than stop and pivot because I like to think you've got that crisscross of the seam at the end rather than it just going around a corner. So does that make it a bit stronger? It Bernie? makes it a little bit stronger, yeah. Uh, loads of you still chatting away. Uh, Shanta says, Peter Rabbit brings back good memories. Uh, this, fa this beautiful uh, fabric is, uh, what she's saying, absolutely, uh, indeed it is. It's lovely quality as well. Um, like I say, it's 100% cotton. Um, you know you're not going to have any problems with it in the wash. Um, or when you're ironing it, it irons lovely. Um, however, I know we've got another product on the show um, that'll be on the website, the Best Press. So uh, that's great if you do get any stubborn creases or anything. Oh yes, I saw that, you know, on the um, list of products and I wasn't sure what it was, um, Yeah, Bernie. so you all it is... Is it Mary a, Ellen, is it called? Mary or something Ellen, like that? yeah, so it's in a spray bottle, like a trigger spray. Mm. And if you've got... Um, say a really stubborn crease in your fabric then just give it a light spray with that and then you iron it and it magically disappears you know sometimes when you're ironing a shirt and you are because i've got like a super duper iron uh, like one of those big steam generator ones yes. at home but even then sometimes especially with a shirt like this so like a fine cotton shirt that's almost a bit linen-y sometimes even when you've ironed it you hold it up and it's still got that like crinkle in it or you and need some best press is will that sort that out yes. right i need to get on this and order yeah. some of that because <laughs> it drives me insane the amount of times you're lying something and then you're like well you know it still looks like i've slept in it that's great if that can get rid of that i think it i is, need to get one really, of those for myself it is really good um and also as well you know when you buy fabric off from a fabric shop or online when you buy it from us it's pretty it's already folded in half to be put on the bolt because that's how they that's how fabrics mm. are uh, sold um, off the board. That crease has been in there for quite a while because obviously it's been folded in the factory, put onto the board, and then it's sitting on the shelf of the fabric shop, you know, um, in our warehouse. That folds in there for a long time. Mm. And sometimes it does take a little bit to get that fold out. Not a best press. Brilliant. I it's would a say bit that's like me in the morning getting out of bed burning. It takes <laughs> yeah, me a I long well. time to unfurl myself at the moment. <laughs> we were talking earlier about when you, when you smile at people, obviously with your mask on, yes. people don't know you're smiling. And I did say you have to watch for the crow's feet here yeah, to know whether someone's actually smiling or not. But I then think not what everyone has what them. What I've started yet. going for is like an eyebrow raise now. So like a smile. I'm smiling underneath, but I also do like a bit of an eyebrow raise. So you know, I'm really smiling under here. <laughs> I'm doing an eyebrow raise now. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a very good eyebrow raise. <laughs> you know, some people can do one out. <laughs> I'm going to try that one, John. See what happens. Okay, if I get, see how it goes. If I get funny looks off, well, I won't know, will I? <laughs> You'll not know. You'll not know. Anyway, anyway, shall I carry on with my bag? <laughs> Best so dad, I guess. Yeah, best do a bit of work. <laughs> uh, now, getting really, really busy on this Peter Rabbit uh, fabric. It really is uh, very busy at the moment. So uh, do get your options, uh, your orders in, whether it is for the um, for the actual panel or for uh, the um, fabric itself. It's really, really busy. It's fab, isn't it? I, I'm pleased everyone's liking it. Right, so I keep holding the corner of my bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing, going to do the bottom corners of the bag. So some people might hear this is a sugar bag bottom or a, I call it just boxing the bottoms off. There's a number of ways to do it, but because I didn't want to spoil that panel, I just cut out my rectangles. I've stitched all the way around here. And then what I've done, I've put my hand inside there and all I'm going to do is squidge this side seam here so it, I can feel it matching underneath the bottom seam. So if I hold it that way, yeah, you can be able to see it there. And I'm getting like a point here. And this is what we want here. Now, I'm not going to measure this, but what you want to do is make sure that we're going to stitch across here. Just make sure that it's equal length. I've done the lining already and I did it about an inch down. Now, if you're not sure, you can get your ruler out. Um, I'm just going to pop a couple of clips in there but see you can get your ruler out if you need to measure it but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it is this what they call is it boxing off the corners Lisa, yeah or some people call it sugar bag bottoms sugar bag yeah bottoms. So if you oh, look I've at, definitely got one of those yeah. <laughs> if you look at the bottom of a sugar a sugar bag it's it is like squared off yeah, yeah it is squared off 
So I've stitched that across there. Now, we are going to cut that, but I always check that it's right before I cut it. So if I do the other side, so I say again, all you do is put your hand inside. I put my finger right into that corner and then with the other hand, I'm just squashing it down. And you can sort of feel, so you know, um, if people have heard the phrase nesting before, nesting your seams, oh, like yes, in patchwork. I've heard that. You can feel, so this top seam, I'm going to my left and the bottom seam's going to my right. And I can just feel that they've nested in there. So then I'm just going to stitch along that one. Now, could you hand stitch a project like this if you wanted to, Bernie? You could, of course. And fat quarters are ideal for, um, well, large and small projects, to be honest, because you're getting a lot of fabric in there. I mean, you're getting a, uh, what are you getting? Five, five quarters. You're getting a metre and a quarter of fabric mm. in that fat quarter That's pack. Great value, isn't it? And then on the, the panel, you're getting 25 inches, so half a metre is about 19 inches. So again, you're getting about a metre. Uh, a half and a quarter, about three quarters. And so if you got both, you'd have two metres of fabric. Mm. That's fab. That's really good for a, for a quality fabric. And I say the, the Peter Rabbit's so cute. So all I'm going to do is turn this through and just check that I know I've got those same things. So I'm happy with them. So I'm happy to go ahead and cut them now but I'll not cut them now because I'm going to do the rest of the bag. So that's our bag starting to come together and we see because we've put that wadding in and because we've got that square bottom can you see how it stands up it's not flop, floppy Absolutely, and falling yeah. over okay so I've done the lining exactly the same and I say I've used that fat quarter which is the the like it's oh I don't want to say dark blue it's like a it's a kind like of a royally, French, like, like a French, French navy royal almost blue. isn't it yeah it's really nice it's a really nice like a um it's like a rich blue. A midnight blue, should we yes. call it? Let's go with that. <gasps> That's let's, the colour. Let's do that thing what I love to do, right, where you make up names. Uh, so basically, I'm, I'm quite uncouth. I don't know if you realise, Bernie. <laughs> so I go to like Manchester Gallery, Art Gallery and uh, to look at the paintings, obviously. But the most hilarious bit is, you know that paint brand that's with all the funny names? Well, they sponsor the gallery, so they have all their paints on the walls. So you can go around and look at all the funny names, like Elephant's Breath is my favourite and things like <laughs> oh. that. Uh, some really hilarious, some really hilarious names. Um, Elephant's Breath, Mouse's Back uh, is apparently another one. Uh, there's some very strange ones, Bernie. That sounds a bit strange, yeah. Elephant's Back. So that's obviously a type of grey. <laughs> a grey? Was it Elephant's, elephant's Back? Elephant's Breath? breath? Oh, Elephant's like Breath. I think what? it's, yeah, what did you think I said? Elephant's, elephant's Back? No, I elephant's say, well, breath. His back's going to be the same back. as his leg. It's all no. going to be grey, isn't it? <laughs> it's some sort of some sort of greeny grey. I think it was. <laughs> right. So anyway, I've used that blue. <laughs> That's definitely make, blue. Yes. Sorry. Uh, uh, Sidetrack right. there. So I'm making the handle. So on the handle here. So I've done as a contrast. So I've done the blue on one side, and on the other side, I've used the top of that panel that really was waste. But it isn't because fabrics never, never waste. And what I've done is put two together. I've put some wadding on the inside. I think I might have made my handle a bit long. So I'm going to shorten it because I can. Oh, I don't want to lose. You're um, literally just going to cut a bit off of it. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it off. But I don't want to lose my little um, Peter Rabbits on the end. So I've cut one at both ends. So yeah. So it's not even a, like a set size, you just see how, you know, what size you want to do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tack these on. And because I want that dark on the outside as a contrast, so I'm putting right sides together. So I'm putting the blue of the handle to right, and I'm just doing it halfway along the seam. And I'm just going to tack. Now to tack on a machine is again, it's just fixing something in place with, with a long stitch. So I'm doing a three and a half stitch length on here and I'm just stitching quite close to the edge. You just want it in place because what that means is then when we sew on the lining in, we don't need to worry about pins or even clips. We don't need anything on there. Awesome. And then I'm going to whip it round to the other side and do exactly the same on this one. 
Um, Mandy makes uh, amends on YouTube. So I didn't know uh, about this channel. I was here until yesterday uh, when I stumbled across it. I have watched eight softer side uh, of life shows since yesterday. Oh, wow. Shut the front door, Mandy. Well done, uh, Mandy. That must be a record. That must be a record. That is a lot of, <laughs> that is a lot of softer side in a day. Uh, she says, can I ask just, is, is it one show a week on softer side of life? And is it always on a Tuesday? It is, yes. Uh, our first show on Tuesday is our destination uh, weekly sewing uh, show so you'll find us here uh, every Tuesday absolutely 1pm in the UK 8am on the East Coast 5am on the West Coast but we are with you every single day in one crafty sense or another at 1 and 4 in the UK 8 and 11 on the East Coast and 5am and 8am over on the West Coast Mandy it is absolutely lovely to have you in with us uh, Carolyn saying as well I watch lots of the shows but very rarely comment uh, lovely items on the show today uh, I'm trying to be good and sit on my hands because I've just purchased the overlocker this morning Ooh, which is still on Satan? offer over on the website. So, is it? Uh, it's on it, offer. I think it's a fifty pounds off of it at the moment over on the website. So if you've been waiting for that overlocker, get yourself over there for sure. Uh, Jill is saying she loves all the fabric uh, on the show today. Uh, Anne also saying, oh cute, Peter Rabbit and Christmas trees. I know Anne. What more uh, could you ask for? I'm getting quite a few questions in as well, but they're not really. Uh, they're sort of general questions. So I tell you what we'll do. If it's all right with you, Bernie, uh, I'll keep compiling them and we'll do a little bit of a question and answers uh, a little bit later maybe sort of towards the beginning of the second hour if that's right with you that sounds gives absolutely everyone a perfect. chance to get their questions in on facebook or on youtube or you can even email them to us if you want oh do you know what bernie what would else we'd love wouldn't we to see some pictures of what people have been up to oh i love we pictures. love seeing your makes uh, and you can email those to us studio at craftscompanion.co.uk uh, so why um clips here and not pins then bernie is there a rule so of thumb well, in the olden days, before clips were invented, you had to do pins to keep it in place. But pins can be quite, well, I don't want to say they can be quite dangerous, because you can obviously prick yourself with them. You don't want to get blood on your fabric. You don't, so, no. <laughs> no. Especially, no. If you're giving, especially if you're gifting it. What's yeah. that? Oh, sorry, I bled on it. And the other thing as well is, obviously, um, for your sewing machine, the, uh, the rule of thumb is... You don't sew over a pin. Well, there's a lot of very naughty sewers out there. Yeah, and I've done it myself and I've broke needles as well. Do you know when I used to, when I worked at a previous uh, crafting channel and uh, I used to work with a lot of different sewers, uh, it was about 50-50, you know, Bernie. About yeah. half of sewers sewed over and the other half removed. See, some people will say, if you have the pin so it's pointing in this way against your needle, then it's not going to hit. But to me, I always think it's not worth the risk because what can happen is if your needle hits that pin, it takes that pin down into the mechanism on your machine. Oh, yeah. You could then have to get your machine repaired and it could be quite hefty. You could actually break your machine. So just for the sake of um, just being careful and taking them out, you know, that, you know, to me... Like I say, I have done it and I'm like, hmm. So all I'm doing here, Joe, I've just got this. This is called free arm machining. Okay. So when I was going out, I was just happily sewn away before. I took off the accessory box. And what that gives is this, the free arm. So it, it allows all of this to go around the machine and okay. underneath. So it just helps with your manoeuvrability. That's a big word, isn't it? It is a big word. <laughs> and then what's happened is I've got all the way around. And what I can see here is I've got a little bit of a a bit of excess fabric on the top. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the back and hold the front as I stitch. And normally you wouldn't stitch this way all the time, but if you want to just pull your fabric a little bit to ease it in, that's the way you can do it. And I've still got a tiny little pucker in there, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to cry about it. I'm happy. It's on my lining. Later on in the show, I'm going to show you our quilting feet that we've got on, which we've Ooh. got the walking foot on, and this would not have happened okay, if I okay. had my walking foot on. What it is is because you're going over a lot of layers. So all I did there is I put the handles in, tacked them on, I've sewed all the way around the top, I left a gap in my lining, and now I'm just going to turn it through, and it's practically finished. So like I say, I've used two of those little, I'm going to call them the mini panels on the panel, if you like. There is six in total, so you could use one and do a plain back or even obviously incorporate your fat quarters as well. If you sewed this by hand, the hole in the bottom of the lining, this actually makes this reversible as well. 
So you give that a good press around the top. That's that beautiful, Bernie. Nice. How cute is that? Yeah, I and want, then you I can wanna, decide. In my which... head, I want to pop a little sandwich in there. Yeah, like a big chunky doorstop sandwich. Like it's the perfect size. It is, isn't it? It's yeah. absolutely perfect. But like I say, all I did was just cut round the designs on the panel to get the size. So I didn't go and say I needed a ten by eight or whatever. I just made them to size and then made them both the same, and then just used that fat quarter to cut out the size. And then made the little handle for the top and then that there for a little gift bag i mean a child's going to love that if you're going to give them a gift in mm. a bag because that's part of the gift as really well lovely. isn't it yeah really gorgeous why am i seeing as well like a peg bag i don't know why you know like you put out on your line oh you, know, you yes. put your pegs in you have it clipped on the on your your washing line uh should i saying uh i do not like pins i broke pins many a time so i bought 100 clips now i clip everything diana as well saying she needs to get the clips they are available i do believe over on the website so pop yourself over there and have a little look-see for them right i want to recap uh some of the items that you've seen so far on the show that you are absolutely loving very busy on the panel 30 percent of the panel has sold out and gone it is absolutely a blooming mahusive as well which is awesome all of that different uh, art um, um, artwork on there. So you've kind of got one, two, three, four. You've got about sort of seven different focal points on there. You can obviously use it as one big piece or you can cut that down. It's totally up to, uh, to you. It's $9.99 per panel, which is a great price. Uh, the fat quarters, you get five of them. Shut the front door. We're only 40 minutes in and half the stock of the fat quarter collection has gone. It is a five piece fat, fat quarter collection. Uh, on the website, it may say four pieces still, but you will get five, which is 1.25 meters, which is awesome value for money. Now, the Be Happy Fabrics, uh, very busy on that as well. Uh, the fabric strip rolls, a fifth now of the stock of this has sold out and gone. Now, remember what you're getting. You'd normally pay this price just for one of these. So you get one fabric strip roll uh, for that price. Now, the great thing is on this deal, we're going to send you two. It is a bog off, which is awesome. Uh, let me just find my strip as well, because I want to share with you uh, the size of the strip. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, let me just show you this. Uh, <laughs> talking about strips, there's all sort of different connotations happening uh, uh, in the gallery. Everyone's getting a little bit too excited uh, this Tuesday, but you can see it's a really lovely big size. Now, the great thing is about that, there's a lot of projects that are made just using strip rolls. Uh, you can get that wonderful rail fence uh, quilt that Bernie showed us earlier. I think that's what it's called. Uh, and uh, you've also got uh, a cushion here as well. Go and have a look at strip roll projects on the internet. You'll find loads of them. Some brands uh, call their strip rolls uh, jelly rolls. There's loads of different names for them out there, but they're very popular and they're also uh, a great way for you to get a little bit of a, a whole fabric range for a really cool price. Uh, well, they're like, what? How much are these? Nine pounds each when you get them on the steel, which is awesome. We had a picture in already. Who sent this in? Alison sent this in to us. Oh, Bernie, isn't that awesome? Oh, wow. So I know this is Alison who's on our design team um, and she, she posted this online the other day and I did say, I said how fantastic it was. That is actually made with the strip roll. Absolutely awesome, isn't it? Uh, really, it's amazing. Really gorgeous. And it, just, it, it just shows you, like if I hold this one, we've got this rail fence one here. How so many you strip rolls see, do you think are in that, that one you've got there? This one here? Yeah. I'm going to say one strip roll, you, you know. You think so? Oh, okay. Because you get, no, will it be two? You Maybe def, one and a half. One and a half. So you'd definitely two, be able definitely to make, make that out of two. Yeah. But make, what we, Alison's done is a slightly variation. She's put a little pinwheel pattern in. So it just shows you how from a simple pattern, mm. you can just add little elements of your own twist, put your own twist on it and make it look completely different. Yeah, absolutely. Make a lovely play mat that, wouldn't it? Really yeah. gorgeous. Uh, now, we've, you know the uh, fabrics, I keep talking about them and saying they're very busy. The John Loudon fabrics that we've got, two more have sold out already. The only three I've got are these three right here. So I've got the bottle green left in stock. These three are gonna go, by the way. So if you want them, you need to be quick for them. The bottle green is still in stock. 319 or 479. I still got the purple available at the moment. Uh, and we've also got 
this one here, which is the Sunshine. They are the only three that are now in stock. How many have sold out, producer Georgina? There must have been seven or eight sellouts already on these uh, in this show. So uh, if you want them, grab them uh, whilst we've got those three in stock. And as I said as well, it's a half meter piece, which is made 14 sellouts in this range already. Uh, today so it shows you just how busy they are with a half meter half meter is great size so a uh, half meter some of you especially in the us may know this is a half yard go and have a look online at half meter or half yard projects there are no doubt hundreds of thousands of three free ones available to you uh, on the internet as i also said earlier as well with all our fabric here at crafts companion if you order multiples of like half meters we will always do our best to try and cut it uh, in the meterage so if you ordered four of these uh, you most likely get a two meter piece which is awesome uh, so always something to bear in mind. Not many companies uh, offer that uh, service uh, anymore. We still do. Now, you are Orophil, but I do like you. See what I did there? Uh, we've got the Orophil fabric. No, no one, no one got that one, did they, Bernie? Just, just me and you. Uh, this yeah. one here. They're not listening to us, Joe. We still we do got anything the um, uh, Orophil fabric available for you. I'm going to cross over to Bernie for this because Bernie said hands down this is the best of the best this um, why what makes this so awesome bernie orophil fabric is a uh, thread sorry is practically lint free so when you're stitching i'll say on your sewing machine but i'm just setting up for my next demo so i've just moved my sewing machine for now um it, you're not going to have any lint gathering up in your machine causing it to block causing your thread to snap it's very strong as well so my mum taught me a trick years ago she said if you go on and you see someone selling some cheap thread just ask if you can just snap a little bit off and if you can snap that off really easily if it's like used thread that someone's given you it's not very good thread Aurafil is really strong thread and it lasts for ages I've, I've got one reel on my machine at home I don't know how long I've had it on because it just seemed to last for ages. Because it's a finer thread, you're getting more on the reel as well. It's quite deceiving. So, and the colours, I mean, I use cream and beige for everything, to be fair. Mm. But I have a few of the ranges of colours for your top stitching because you know it's going to be quality and it's going to look quality as well. So, big tick for me. On that thread. Thread. Let yeah. me take you through the colour options then. So this one here, this one is your Milan grey uh, that you've got. You can just see the colours uh, in there. I'm not sure if you can quite see those. Uh, you've got in here uh, your three different colours uh, of your Milan grey in that one just there. I have three other options for you as well. Uh, so you've got the uh, this one here, which is the uh, Como blue. So you can see you've got the, uh, the light, the medium and the dark blue. Uh, in there. You've then also got uh, the, oh, Verona Mauve. Classy, <coughs> aren't they, these colours? Uh, which is those ones just there. And then finally, uh, you've got the Pompeii Red, uh, which is awesome. Makes me want to go on an Italian holiday, don't they, uh, these? Uh, if you're a Platinum member, 2160 or $28 to get a hold of these, which is awesome. Remember, uh, you can use your Club Inspired discount across absolutely everything that we bring you here at Crafters TV. Loads more stuff still to come. We're not even through the first hour yet. Uh, another hour and 10 minutes of our uh, Needlecraft uh, weekly destination show still to come. The A1 folding cutting mat, that's available to you uh, in this show. Uh, $39.99 or $43.96 is your price there. If you don't have a sewing room and you maybe sew on the dining room table or something like that, this is awesome because it folds up, it's absolutely massive and it protects the surface that you are working on, which is brilliant. Uh, $39.99 or $43.96. Uh, those adhesives, the spray adhesives, still really busy on those. Uh, they are UK only, but they're £12 here, saving a quarter. Uh, you've got stick and stay, which is your permanent one, and then you've got stick and spray, which is your repositional uh, one. These ones are designed, of course, for fabric. So we do have the paper craft ones on the website. These are those specific um, fabric ones. Uh, lots of the stock gone there. Uh, 15% um, in fact, Fer uh, the threaders, fabric cutter. Bernie, I'm struggling today, my thuz and my oofs. My thuz and my oofs are coming, uh, are getting also. I think because I think it's the words threaders fabric. It gets me, it gets me every time. This is the threaders of fabric cutter, <coughs> 15 uh, by 15 and a half inches, 47.99 or 71.99. Burning. I know this was another recent launch of ours, wasn't it? And something that you did. You launch this. I know you absolutely love it. 
Um, I, no, Lizzie launched it originally the first show, but I think I, I think I might have brought it here first. This product, when we launched it, sold out like that. Mm. We've been waiting ages to get it back, and a few weeks ago we managed to get some back in stock because it's just. I think it speaks. I don't want to say it speaks for itself. I'm going to tell you about it. But even when you just look at it, you think it's something substantial. So it's got to. It's got to do what we say. It can do you've got this massive grid on here so it's basically a cut it's a cutting tool and then you've got your rotary blade on here so essentially most people will be using um, a ruler I'll get my ruler and you're gonna have your rotary cutter as well which is absolutely fine and I use mine all of the time but sometimes you, you, you're cutting a lot of big pieces that you actually want something bigger and you can cut maybe quicker with it. Also as well, the safety element of this. My hand is there, I am nowhere near that blade. If I thought I was gonna cut myself, I would not put my hand anywhere near that blade. The blade's actually hidden. If I turn this up, oh, there we go. If I turn this up right here, I'm just gonna point with my nail, the blade is there, away from the bottom of this metal trim. When you apply pressure from the top, can you see then the blade goes down below? Absolutely. And that's when you're going to be cutting. It only applies when you press on. So that spring in there is helping you keep that safety element there. And it's a nice big plate for your hand, isn't it? This one. Sometimes it is. they're fiddling, you have to try and grab hold of them. With this one, it's like you just pop your hand on it, which is awesome. Yes, and I'm left-handed. Most people know that now. I've got my right hand on here. So let me put some fabric underneath and just show you how well this cuts. So I'm just going to move it along. I've got the nice big A1 fold and cutting mat. Awesome. I love to have uh, it. That's on the bottom of your screen. It is massive, isn't it? It is massive. And it folds, it is it trifolds? Is that the right way? It folds into three. Oh, all the big words coming out so, today, I know. Bernie. I know. I won't spell them all, but <laughs> maneuver, I can't say that one again. Um, <laughs> This one folds into three, so as well, if you go into your craft classes as well, or when you can go to your craft classes, you can fold this up and it'll go in your bag as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off the edge of my fabric here. And I've just got a half metre of fabric here. I know we haven't got any of this left. <laughs> and all I'm going to do is I'm going to lean down on it or press down on it with my hand. So this is the good thing. If you've got dexterity is issues... If you've got problems with your shoulder or your wrist, what you're doing is you're putting your weight on there and you're just gliding it on. When you get to the end, you release it. That blade is coming back up out of the way. There we go. Awesome. And I'm left-handed. My left hand was nowhere near. This is my right hand. So you've got that um, safety element there. You've got that dexterity box, you know, ticked if, that's, if you're having problems with it. The other thing as well, people... Some people will think, oh, well, it, it's, it's big, it's going to move all over the fabric. Because this is quite a big sort of footprint, if you like, the weight in there is holding your fabric down. So you're not going to have any issues. So what I'm going to do now, obviously I'm going to turn this because I'm going to cut, we'll say a four inch strip. So all I'm doing is, because I've neatened that edge up, I've just turned it around. Now what, you could, what I could have done actually was turned my fabric cutter around and then use my left hand but I'm going to carry on using my right can you hang it up this Bernie no so this this is a handle for you to hold it right. with it's not weighted to be hung because obviously that could slip uh, I mean, if, if you've you got a big enough hook I suppose you can try it but this is a handle for you to carry it so if I hold that there you've got easily where you can get your hand out and get my big sausage fingers in there. I always <laughs> got them. I need a new phone because my phone, I'm like, kind of, kind of do it with my sausage fingers and my daft nails on. So you've got that carry handle there. The other thing, actually, that's a good point, Joe, for me to show that. Can you see how that isn't sliding down? Mm. I've had one of these similar types before and that slides down. But the other thing is, if you move it down, it's not going to go anywhere because there's a stopper at each end. So if I turn that round again it's not going to come down until I move it there's a stopper at the end so that's not going to come off I do awesome. prefer to keep mine at the bottom don't know why I think that's habit because of the one I had did, did 
keep sliding down to the bottom. Uh, right, where was I? Oh yeah, so I'm going to cut a four inch strip. So all I'm doing is I'm using my grid on here because you've got all of your um, vertical lines, horizontal lines. You've also got your degree lines as well. So if you want to cut things on the bias, I'm going to cut one strip here and then I'm just going to quickly show you how I'd cut something on the bias. And again, that's my right hand. I'm left handed. So, I, you know, I couldn't do that with a rotary cutter like that, accurate, to get a four inch strip. And that's cut through four layers of fabric. We recommend eight, six to eight layers of fabric under here. But that's four layers of fabric, absolutely no bother at all. The other thing what people like to cut, um, if you're cutting your strips for binding, obviously if you're not using your strip roll, because you've got two and a half inch cut already, if you're using your um, cutters to make binding, there's a thing called bias binding, and that's where it's on the stretch. So if you're going around any corners, you want a bit of stretch in your fabric. So to do that with this cutter as well, so you can cut your straight strips, you can cut your squares, your rectangles. If you want to cut on the bias, you're going to have your, I've got a square of fabric here and I've got it folded here and then I'm just going to line it up and then what I'm going to do, because I'm not measuring this way, I'm just making sure that my fabric fold is lined up with any of these horizontal lines. Now my cutter is at the top here. I normally start from here and go because that's me just cutting away from me. You know, you can cut towards yourself. So I'm going to press down and down and it's cut as well. So it cuts both ways. And then what I'm going to do is I'm now going to turn it this way and let's do it the left-handed way because I'm left-handed. And let's do a two and a half inch because that's the most common width of bias binding. I'm going to go that way on and then move it along and I'll just cut another one quickly and I say all I'm doing is lining up the edge of my fabric because I know it's straight because I've just cut it I want to put it towards me there we go and then that's cutting your binding strips of two and a half and you can see the stretch in it there of those against obviously your straight bits which I cut well I cut lots of that You've got your straight bits that you've cut as well. So I see you're getting those, you're getting your 30 degree angles on there and your 45 and your 60, which means you can also cut your um, triangles and diamonds as well. So we've got, we've given you all these markings on. And then the other thing as well, if you're a paper crafter, we've actually, or if you work in centimetres, we've got centimetres on here as well. So you've got inches or centimetres, so whichever you prefer. In stitch and patchwork, um, the it's more inch based. But if you're doing work in centimetres, you've got those as well up the sides, so you can use that. Awesome. So this is a great piece of kit to have. And also, I've left my box over the other side of the studio. Keep the box for storing it in. You can obviously you've got the handle on there if you've got a big enough hook. But I wouldn't hang it up. I put mine back in my box and I put it in my cupboard and then I know I've got it to get it out when I need it with my big mat and do lots of, lots of cutting because it's just a, a really sturdy piece. And like I say, the first time we brought it, it's, it, it went. We, we were, you know, when you're pleasantly surprised and really happy that something's so, but we, we think we like to order enough for people to get. And I know Sarah says that a lot that she think, you know, this has got to, we've got a lot of the stock that we think is going to last. And that first time it just went, everyone loved it. So we, we were so pleased the other week when it came back in. And that's why I wanted to bring this one to you today as well. Mm. Another one of my, my favourite tools, I'm doing a Debbie Fisher. <laughs> you really favorite. are all of the favourites, Bernie. <laughs> uh, however, if you want to get a hold of this, forty-seven ninety-nine, seventy-one ninety-nine. If you're in the US, a uh, fifth of that has gone as well. It is a very, very busy uh, softer side show today. Um, uh, that is an absolute uh, favourite and an absolute uh, essential. That one there. Now we're going to move on to something that is quite unbelievable uh, value uh, up next. Now we're going to look at our. Um, 
our stencils. These are fabulous because what you're getting in here is you're getting, you basically, the feet, the feet on their own, so let's have a look at those first. The feet on their own should be $39.99 or $49.95. So we're not even charging you for the feet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give you the three stencils uh, that come in here. So you've got uh, the Celtic, you've got the um, Feathers, and you've got the Geometric as well. I think I've got a little bit of a... Um, of a uh, idea behind me. Is this the same sort of um, same sort of concept? That's not the one. That's not any of the designs that are in this um, are in this configuration today. I don't think. But it gives you an idea of what you can uh, use these for. Is no, it a flower? Oh, the it's the flower. It's the feathers. Yes, yeah, it is that um, one with the hearts in there uh, as well. So this is what you can do with these now. Um, I'm guessing then, Bernie, you could what, paste through them. Is that what this is here? Some glitter paste been put through there. So, yeah, that's our glitter paste um, to show an alternative use of them as well, that you can use them to um, ink through as well, if you've got your inks as well. I've got the ones here. Um, of These are ones here with the glitter paste on as well. Um, that's the Celtic one. And then that's the geometric one as well. So you can see how fabulous that just shows them up really, really well. Really gorgeous. But the initial... Um, it reminds me of the Crystal Maze, the, uh, oh, the geometric yes. one. Start yes. the fans! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a remake of that on the other week, unless it was a repeat. There was a what, a new like one? A re yeah, it didn't oh. look like an old. It looked like a new one. No, there's a, a new Richard, one. there's a guy called Richard A. I always struggle with his name. A. A. U. R. D. I think his name is. Is that it? Uh, he's, oh. uh, they've done a new version of it. US viewers, The Crystal Maze was a very sort of retro of its time uh, game show, sort of set in a universe somewhere. And people would run around and try and get crystals. Did you know now, though, Bernie, you can. Um, like you can go and do it yourself and take part in it in London and Manchester. You can actually like oh, go and be can, yeah. you can do your own one, yeah. Oh, how fabulous is that? I'm gonna to have to have a look at that. I'd like to do one of those panic rooms. I've never done one of those panic rooms. Those panic rooms. Oh, an escape you know, room. Like an escape room, that's it, panic room. That's the wrong thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's a slightly different thing there. Uh, I've been watching indeed. some sort of film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want to get hold of these, remember you're getting all three of the stencils. So basically you're paying for the feet uh, and then we're getting three sets of stencils for free, pretty much. They should be 18 99 or 22 95 which is awesome right we're going to look move on and have a look now at some of our patchwork dies now the great thing is about the patchwork dies that we bring you they are our multimedia dies so it means that yes they're going to be fantastic for allowing you to cut your fabric so leather your faux leather um all of the different fabrics that you might want to use but then also you can use them for other things like balsa wood and uh, craft metal and a whole host of other things so these great for sewing bernie but you'd be able to use them for so much stuff wouldn't you and maybe even if you're not a sewer like a plique and stuff could be awesome with these absolutely perfect and that's why we call them the multimedia dies because they cut through anything from a ganza like you say up to balsa wood the craft metal now debbie robinson likes to cut through her um soft drinks cans doesn't she she to show us how well that the dies actually cut through that um it, it, it's anything you want to cut really try it the machine our gemini is so good it will tell you if it's not going to cut it because it'll just stop and reverse it back out and mm. say no 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 that's too much but to be honest the amount of the amount of um i say the fabric upholstery fabric for leather leather i love leather and i've been embossing some leather as well which is absolutely Ooh, amazing nice. really lovely isn't it it's something that yes as a sewer I, i'm not really a messy crafter so i don't really try a lot on pa the paper craft side of things um and inks and things like that you see my face i'm like inks oh i'm gonna get messy um but with the sort of embossing folders and things like that, if you are sort of experimenting and you've got those and you are a pair crafter and you're moving over into sewing and trying it, have a look at what you've already got in your stash to be able to use with it. And obviously we've got, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be naughty and grab a cushion. Let me just grab this here. <clears throat> so this is the dual one. This here, so this has been pieced together so as patchwork. But That's then, gorgeous. But then it's been appliqued on to the cream background. So it's a bit of both. You're doing both as well. Um, so I, I absolutely love them because, like I said, they all they fit together as well. 
depending on what colours you use, if you manage to get some of the flutter fabric, then um, when I, if, we, if I do demo this one later on, I'm using some of the flutter fabrics that I put together. You can use any fabrics out of your stash and just play with your colour and get a different pattern. Like we were looking at that rail fence pattern before, make it slightly different with a different fabric and it looks like a totally different project as well. So you absolutely, I, I love our multimedia dies and they just cut like butter. I mean, mm. we recommend eight, uh, six layers of fabric. I'll regularly cut eight, maybe ten. Mm. Yeah, I mean, they are amazing. <laughs> and and uh, go and have a look at the reviews for them over on our website. Uh, they will work through here. Some questions, actually. Um, and we had some fabrics come... Um, some fabrics, some questions even. I'm going to do the fabrics next. Can you tell? Uh, I'm, I'm in one of those unfiltering. My brain's uh, all sort of, um, it's like alphabetty spaghetti. Anything they say in the gallery could just come out at any moment today. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, there is like, there's like a short circuit between here and here. Just so you, just to warn you, uh, it could get interesting, uh, Bernie. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mandy Makes and Men's has asked, uh, can you use the multimedia dies for fabric cut and cutting with the the Sizzix Big Shot and the Big Shot Plus. I've got both of these machines. Do you know what I don't know? Uh, Bernie, do you? I don't because I don't have that, that machine. I wonder if our producer knows. The best thing I would say is if our if you're in our Sewing with Crafters Companion group, mm -hmm. if you put the question up in there, I'll guarantee that there'll be another um, fellow sewer on there that'll be able to come back to you and let you know if they've tried them. Well, our um, producer, she's a wealth of knowledge today, right? And I reckon she's got to know the answer to this question. Are you ready? I reckon I've got, I've got all faith in you, uh, George. I reckon you're going to know this. Uh, she says, can, the, you, can we, you use the multimedia dies, uh, ours, for fabric cutting with a Sizzix Big Shot or a Big Shot Plus? I've got both those machines. She thinks so. Yeah, I knew. I knew she'd, I knew she'd knew. Um... Maybe give customer services, uh, drop them a line just to advise uh, on the uh, sandwiching. Oh, I love a sandwich. Um, yeah, or pop it in the group as well. And what was that group for anyone? And that's good for all different sewing questions, the group, isn't it, Bernie? It is. And someone did post a very similar question about a week ago. So you could actually also search on there. So it's Sewing with Crafters Companion on Facebook. If you click to join, there's a one or two questions to answer. Um, the admin team will then accept you into the group and then there is a wealth of knowledge of that I'm also in there so if you need <laughs> <laughs> if you do need anything else that sounded done, quite, that sounded quite today, sinister then but yeah, I'm, I'm in there. there I'll I'm find you there. I'll, I'll get you if you're in there <laughs> <laughs> but if you're looking for me you'll find me in there just drop <laughs> you know just put your questions in there as well if we can't answer them today um but I'm sure someone did say about that and I think I think that if if the machine takes thin metal dies mm. there's a likelihood that they'll go through um, like I say, personally, I've not used those machines, so I can't say that I've tried them. But again, um, it could be like you were saying before, it could be that it's your sandwich um, that you need to look at. Just and customer services may be able to help as well. Yeah, and um, um, check, the, um, check the manual of your die cutting machine as well is another good one to do. Uh, Shaz has got a great question. Shaz says, Bernie, what's the best material to create a doormat with? Sorry, Joe. I was I was re I was getting repositioned. Oh, I'm gonna have to tell you what's happening here because otherwise, I'm gonna Bernie do it just as looks well, like Joe. she's just Let's stood over there just it. staring at me. I'm asking a question, and uh, our director Adam's going, "Can you move Bernie a bit, to please?" Right. So she's like over here, and he's like, "No, uh, no, the other way." Okay, okay. <laughs> no, the other way. <laughs> and it's like she's doing the can can up and down the uh, counter. And then I ask poor Bernie a question, and she's like. I'm sorry, uh, Joe, I didn't even hear the question. Can sorry. you answer the question again? Sorry, I dropped you well, in it there, Shall we Bernie. make Adam? It's all right. Um, shall we make Adam answer this one? <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, what, shoot, sh shoot, let's Shaz says, Bernie, what is the best material to create a doormat with? Oh, a doormat. So I would say possibly our cork fabric. So I know we had some on last week or the week before, if we've got any of the cork fabric in stock. Um, that's quite a hard wearing fabric. If you're going to be using a cotton, I would maybe use a heavy cotton and obviously a darker one. You don't want it too light. Um, no one wants a dirty doormat. And also as well, and I keep meaning to, tr I'm going to try and do one of these on a show. The next time I've got a show that I can fit this on, there's a, um, a technique where you have a bit of wadding and, well hey, 
fabric strips and you put your wadding in between your fabric strip and you wrap it round and then what you do I'm not sure how well this is going to show on it um, you you keep sewing around yourself like a coil okay and it makes it I mean it's not going to look like that because it's all <laughs> folded I was going to um, say that looks like some sort of delicious pastry not yeah a... <laughs> it's a, yeah oh don't talk about food <laughs> but it's like a coil so it makes it quite sturdy and that's what you want it to be quite sturdy. Okay. Um, I'll pop something up on our group of okay. what I'm meaning about that, just so people um, know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, but yeah, so something sturdy, um, something dark. But I, like I was saying, I would think maybe our cork fabric would be quite a good, a good bet if you wanted to do like a patchwork one, because I've yeah. seen a lot of people do that, like a, if, especially like for children, play mats mm. or floor floor mats. You're making just a, a mini quilt, really, and then mm. popping it down. The other thing, what we haven't got on the show today, but I'm, if it's on the website, the blue can, which is spray and blue, stay. Spray and stay. So the royal blue lid. Yep. And that, you're going to spray that on the back of your fabric, and it gives it grip. Oh, yes. And like, I've got um, it on my doormat at home. I've got a rubber doormat at home with cork on the top and rubber on the bottom. I've sprayed that on there and it stops it from really slipping. It moves a little bit because obviously you don't want it sticking to the floor, but it, you, you go on, it's not going like that. It's, yeah. you know, you've got that little bit of grip on there. I've actually got it on my ruler when I find my ruler. Oh, so yes. Oh, I remember the one now. Yes. On the bottom of rulers. Yeah, I've stuff. got it on the bottom of this ruler. Just gives so you a little bit of friction, doesn't it? Yes. Which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, right. Very, very busy uh, as we go into the second hour of this softer side show. Remember, this is your destination uh, weekly needlecraft and sewing uh, show. Any questions that you've got, I'll tell you what, get some more into me uh, and I'll do them before the end of the show in about 45 minutes time. Uh, I want to recap some of the things that are proving very busy on the show. Uh, this one is your Be Happy fabric roll. Uh, you'll not get 18 pieces no 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 you'll get 36 pieces so buy one get one free which is awesome you are saving what you're spending here uh 35 percent over a third of the stock now sold out and gone there that gorgeous peter rabbit panel which we quick kick the show off with is just wonderful a third of that one has also gone you've got seven different uh, focal images in there use them all together cut it into I think I'd probably cut it into three, you know. I think I'd cut the top third, uh, the center focal point, and then the bottom third. But you've got so many different options how you want to use it. Uh, a third of that's gone. Uh, we've then got the five-piece fat quarter pack on the show for you. Over half of these have gone now. I think this is going to be the first sellout in our show today. If you want to grab these, I would definitely not dilly or dally with those ones. Lots of you with that sat in your basket at the moment. The John Loudon fabrics. Now we are down to the, uh, the last handful. We're down to the last handful of a handful of colours. So all of these that I'm about to share with you are limited stock. Uh, there's less than 10 of that bottle green one available to you right now. Uh, there is uh, less than 30 of the purple one available. Uh, we've got that sunshine one uh, as well. Uh, and there is less than 20 of that one to give you an idea. There's a lot of them in baskets at the moment as well. Uh, remember, if you're ordering multiple um, pieces, we'll do our best to cut that in one piece for you, which is always awesome. 20% saving there. The stick and stay and the stick and spray. Uh, you've got those on the show uh, for you. Uh, really great price here, 12 pounds. It is UK only, so if you do want it uh, make sure you get it in your um, basket should I is asking <coughs> that cutter that we showed uh, earlier does it have measurements in inches um, Bernie it does like burning yes. is vigorously nodding over there it does have the inches on there for you should I a uh, uh, great question um, Oh, Angela says she's considering making a mat out of old clothing that can be donated. That's a really, really great idea. Uh, Sarah Brown in Australia saying, thank you, Bernie, for the demos and sharing all your ideas. And Donna uh, says that cutter is great as well. So uh, a lot of love uh, for that cutter at the moment. Right, we're going to move on. Still loads to come for you in this Softer Side of Life show. Uh, and we're going to go and have a look at the stencils next. Now, remember, with the stencils, you've got a fantastic deal. So you're basically paying for the machine fee. Uh, we're well, not even paying for that, we're giving you a little discount off of that. And then we're gonna throw in free stencils for you. So you've got the, the Celtic, you've got the feathers, and you've got the geometric as well. Individually, they should be 19 pounds or $23 each. So you've got a great saving there. Uh, now, I'm just thinking then, uh, Bernie, lots of different ways that you can use these. I mean, we spoke about pasting through them earlier, but could you, um, 
use them as a guide to sort of sew around if you wanted to. You can, so this is exactly what I've got here on this cushion. Look at that stitching. How would you be able to do that freehand? I, I couldn't. I, I wouldn't even attempt it to be fair. I'd get a little bit done and then I'd go wonky and then I'd be disheartened and then I'd give up. But with the stencils, you're actually marking through the stencils and making the pattern and then basically you, you follow in the line. So if you are, um, if you do want to get do a bit of messy crafting and you do an inking through them or like we had like the bag that you had Joe with the fabric um, glitter paste through you can actually do that the other item we've got is an item called mark away and this is another spray you know we love our sprays um here with crafters companion this one here is like chalk in a can basically and if you've got um, a, your stencil, this is going to mark through it and leave a line on your fabric so that then you can spray, um, spray through it and then follow that line for your stitching. And also if you're hand stitching as well. Now in each stencil pack, so you're getting three packs and in each pack you're getting two stencils. So you're getting the full design, one here, so this is the Celtic one that I've got here. And then you're also getting, on the other sheet, you're getting um, sort of your size, so your longer pieces and your borders, and you're getting your corner pieces as well. So if you want to make up a bigger um, design on your quilt, or you know whatever you're decorating, because this doesn't have to be for quilting, this can be just, if you want to um, mark through this as well, and hand sew it. So there's a technique called sash, sashiko, sashiko, I never pronounce it right. Um, and traditionally, it's a, I think it's Japanese, uh, traditionally it's on like a dark navy fabric with a white thread, like a, thick, like a thick white thread. And you'd have like a running stitch around. There is no reason why you can't use these stencils to do that. The other good thing as well, and I'm not sure, oh, you can see it, I think. You've, there's two little dots in there, and you think, oh, is that a miscut on the stencil? Oh, no. What that means is you can join up your other pieces. So you can make it. So this is your corner, and then you're going to come in with this bit here. Obviously, you'd turn your stencil round, and you'd line it up with these dots oh, here. Awesome. So you can continue it and along, along, along. And then when you get to the other end, you're going to come back again with your corner. Your other thing is you can have that, draw that shape on and then you could flip it because it's a mirror image and then line up those dots with the dots off that side and then you could make a square. So there's lots of different variations that you can use. Now, I know we've got our um, heat erasable pens on the show. I love heat erasable pens. With these ones, as well as the spray, I'm going to do the pen first because then I'm going to use the spray on the other section. What you're going to do is find where you're going to put your piece. Now, the other sec the other tool that we've got is our reference tool. And these, like I say, initially we brought this out to go with our quilt and pattern guides, but then actually there's a lot more uses to this as well. Whenever you want a grid on anything, you want to find your centre point, you're going to use this grid. So I'm just going to line that up on the centre of my fabric. I'm going to mark the dot in the centre and then I'm just going to draw a line. Now I'm not drawing through the whole left uh, end to end because you'll see when I put the design on I don't need to and that's me being greedy not waste, not wanting to waste me ink. <laughs> Typ typical uh, County Durham <laughs> or me anyway. <laughs> I'm frugal. Terrible, you are just frugal, frugal. Bernie. That's what it is. So what I'm doing here is I can see I've got, you can see there I've got those lines on there. And what I'm wanting to do is put this design into this corner, but I want it to be equal. So my little two dots here, I've lined up with that. I can see through this um, stencil, so I can see my line under there. And I'm just going to bring it down so that I can see those lines under there. And then all you simply do is draw through. Now again, I mean, this is just so relaxing. Just sitting doing this. 
this i mean the pen doesn't go anywhere once you've put it on until you iron it then it disappears so say you're sitting at home on an evening you sit in front of the tv you could get all of your design drawn out decide what you're going to have it without any doing any sewing um or even if you're doing um hand stitching you could get it all drawn out i'm checking where i've been now <laughs> you can get it all drawn out and then start your hand stitching so you a lot just... of people really love hand stitching, don't they? Yes. And actually, maybe re maybe a really accessible way for you to get into um, sewing in the first place, especially because a lot of our viewers out there, Bernie, maybe predominantly paper crafters, so they would own uh, already like die cutting machines. So if you wanted to hand stitch like a pliqueing, you know, die cut elements onto cushions and stuff, is a really great payoff, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly, it is. It's just that. It's just you say if you want to give it a go, you know, and also obviously. Because you've got the accuracy, I always say that's how our, the human mind works. The parallel, the pa what is it? The parallel, <laughs> I can't think of the word. The, the pa what? To, like our minds work in parallel. That's what I'm trying right. to say, but I don't know what the verb was. <laughs> I'm usually, it's a long time since I've been to school. I thought I'd missed a little piece. What I did there was I held the middle here and I just lifted it back and I checked that I'd done all my lines and I'd missed one. So then I just laid it back down and put it on so that then I've got that part there done so my next side <clears throat> I'm actually I'm just going to move this up a little bit and this one I'm actually going to do with the spray so what I'm going to do is like I say I'm going to line up those little dots there and I'm going to line up this section here now you wouldn't do both you would do one or the other depending on your project but I'm just doing this just so you can see. And what also you would do is you would mask off your area as well because you don't really want to, this spraying onto your fabric. However, it does dust off and it does um, wash away as well. So I've got a little tickle just. So I'm just going to grab a drink no of water. No problem at all. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, of course. Angela over on uh, Facebook says, I'm using the Kel Celtic stencil <coughs> at the moment for a quilt, and it is absolutely fabulous. Um, Angela, I'd love to see uh, your uh, work in progress picture. Uh, if you want to send us in that a picture of that, we'd love it. Also, you can send us in pictures of anything you want, really. Uh, we would love to see anything you've been making uh, recently in your sewing room. Uh, email is along the bottom of the screen just there. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk uh, is where you need to send them into. We just absolutely uh, love seeing what you've been making, uh, which is awesome. Right, how's your frog? Have you removed said frog, Bernie? I have, yes. Yeah. Sorry Fabulous. about that, Joe. Thank you so much. So just while I was doing that then, I, f I found some um, paper towel under the desk. So I'm just going to tape this on. I mean, you can put paper on, anything you want. You're just going to mask off the area just so it doesn't go... Where your you Michelle says your the word you were looking for, Bernie, was it in conjunction with? Me parallel. Yeah, the parallel. Me parallel word. thing. Yes, that would in work. In conjunction. In conjunction. Yes. There you are. I love her. I really yes, do love our. Thank you. I love our viewers. They've always got our back. Thank They're you. They're like our little safety net, Bernie. You know, they when, are. We, when we fall, they catch us and pick us back they up again, which is up. what they we love. Lift us up. There we go. Right. So I've masked my area off. You do it a bit more neater than me, and then I'm just giving this a shake. And like I say, what it is, um, it's like chalk in a can. So it is. It's just going to come out like a white dust. Do you know you what? It's good for me because you know what? I can't use chalk. It gives me that ooh feeling when I ah. touch chalk of any description. Yeah, I just can't use it. I, and that and the other thing, Bernie, cotton wool bud, cotton wool balls or pads. Ooh, Can I you not use ooh. them, Joe? Yeah, I just can't use them. I'm not sure. Mm. I'm a bit quirky, aren't I? A bit strange yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, we all have our moments, Joe. <laughs> you do all have our quirks, don't now, we? Now, I'm thinking I maybe should have brought a dark fabric. To show this on, but it is, it's going to show. I'll lift it up to the camera. Um, but I had some of this left because this is the Be Happy, the ah, mint. Ah, yes, it's the, the, the mint, lovely plain yeah. mint in there. This is the mint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little, you can have a little sneaky peek. Yay. I don't know why I doubted the green fabric. <laughs> I'm going to whip it off, Joy. You ready? You whip it off. Ta da Awesome. So if I move that down so you can see both. So you see we've got here is the pen. And then this one is the chalk. And like I say, what will happen, oh, just put that on the floor neatly. 
with this one here can you see where i've got a little bit there where it's gone under you can see it just brushes away i'll actually just brush oh yeah it just away. brushes off how fabulous it does brush off and it leaves there's a little wet mark there but obviously you're going to stitch thing but it just just brushes off as well so the one thing i would say is if you're going to do a big design like this do a section at a time because obviously if you're um handling it i was saying manhandling if you're handling it you're gonna you could dust it off but you just put plenty on and like i say this lasts a really good that's a good thing with our sprays they do last a while as well and like i say it's spray mark erase erasable marker spray that's ideal for working with stencils on fabric awesome and also if you've got any other stencils as well you can use this mm. it's, it's not just made to go with with these ones yeah you can use this Awesome. So there you go, there are our stencils. Fabulous, uh, fabulous if, product. If you want to grab those, they're coming free when you get the machine uh, feet as well, uh, which is there. Uh, now, uh, $38.99 or $47 if you want to grab those. Uh, the panel, need to go back to the panel. It's so, so busy. I'm going to pick it up, actually. I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to whip it off. Here we go. Uh, and hold this up for you because I want you to see again just how... Let me hold this out over the front. You see just how uh, glorious this is. It really is lovely. It's that quintessential classic Peter Rabbit, but at Christmas, which I absolutely love. Now, if you wanted to just um, cut around some of these designs and applique them on, uh, they would look absolutely gorgeous. How awesome would they look actually appliqued onto like Christmas stockings or something like that? It would look really, really lovely. And uh, you could create a gorgeous Christmas wreath. Now, the other thing is about this, you can use this as you, if you want to, um, as just one piece, if you want to. Absolutely, you could. Um, it would make a lovely, oh, I've just had an idea, Bernie. It would make a lovely hanging advent calendar. Imagine you could pop all the little pockets around, oh dear, all the little pockets uh, around uh, and stuff them with little treats as well. So another way uh, of using them. Joe, you know uh, a little secret that was one of the things I was wanting to do, but it was such a big project to do. Obviously, it would need the whole two hours well, to do it, we, but I did we, think about we, it. Should we confess as well, Bernie? We're going to get uh, me we, to do one. We, uh, we're not going to get in trouble. Um, we thought Leanne was going to be here for this show, and then Bernie, like an absolute superstar, that she has stepped in at the last moment. So, I mean, it would have been, uh, and she only found out yesterday, so there's no way Bernie, <laughs> there was not enough hours <laughs> no. in the week or the day for Bernie to run this up. But um, yeah, if you want to, that's another great way of using it. Uh, a couple of cushions. Uh, it's great value. 35% uh, of it's gone. It's from the Craft Cotton Company as well, uh, who make loads of really great quality licensed um, fabric so uh, you know what you're getting here with this as well over a third gone which I think is absolutely uh, awesome now I would definitely suggest if you're going for this or even if you're not going for this get the fat quarters because they are absolutely blooming gorgeous over 55 percent of these has sold out and gone uh, let me just share with you exactly what you are getting in here this is what they look like so it is a a quarter of a meter uh, of fabric that you're getting in there. Lots of fat quarter projects out there for you. If you want to cut these down into fat eights, if that's how you prefer to work, absolutely you can do that uh, by cutting them in half. Loads of different ways of using them. I just think they're really, really lovely um, to have. Really lovely size. And the great thing is, of course, about a fat quarter collection rather than you know a meter of fabric is that you get a little bit of a sample of all of them. So you're actually getting two pieces of that sort of um, really lovely sort of pale, sky blue or is it a cornflower blue it's a really really lovely color uh, you've then got the white and i love the white with the holly can you see all that gorgeous detail uh, that you've got on there which is awesome would go beautifully with a panel uh, you've then got this really lovely gray it's quite a warm gray though uh, i would say it's almost a little bit tea not tealy it's borderline a bit taupey isn't it really lovely and then you've got that gorgeous sort of midnight blue which i think is wonderful with the little bunny rabbits you've got a christmas tree on there as well really lovely selection uh it is licensed products as well which is awesome so 9.99 to get for, so two pa two pounds of per fat quarter that is really really good value for for anything and um for it to be uh, licensed peter rabbit is awesome 
almost 60% of that has gone, uh, so you'll need to be quick for that one. Now, the Be Happy strip roll. Uh, you guys, if you saw the shows that we did when we launched this, you'll know how much I adore uh, this whole fabric. Uh, collection. Um, it's really, really beautiful. And again, gorgeous quilting quality cotton is what you've got here. So the fabric strip rolls are 18 strips of fabric in one roll, which is brilliant. So you've got a little bit of all of them here as well. Let me see if you can see, there we are. So you can see here, you've got a little bit of all, I think it was five different designs, wasn't it? We launched uh, in this one. Uh, six. Six different so designs. Six, yeah, so you so get there's two, two planes. In two planes, floor. two florals, and two <coughs> patterns, I believe. What you've got is all of them. So, so you're getting three of each, uh, three strips of each in there, which is awesome. So what you've got then is the strip. This is my favourite one, by the way. The bees on here are just absolutely gorgeous. However, you're going to get it's a buy one get one free. So you're getting two lots of this, which is great. I know I've shown it to you before, but I'm going to show it to you again because it is just a gorgeous project. But there's lots of great projects out there that you can use for your strip rolls or for your uh, jelly rolls. Definitely get it whilst it's on a buy one get one free. Over a third of that has already sold out and gone. Let me remind you of those Aurifil threads that we've got on the show uh, because the quality here really is second to none. 2160 for platinum members if you want to grab these in the UK. Milan Grey, Pompeii Red we've also got for you. Oh, it makes me want to go on holiday reading these colours. Uh, we've also got Verona Mauve. Uh, sounds like it sounds, could be a, a name, couldn't it? Verona Mauve, like in a children's book almost or something. Uh, and then we've also got the uh, Como Blue. I don't know why it says Cosmo there, but it is Como Blue uh, that you've got. £27 or $35 uh, is your price again for those ones just there. Right, we're going to go back to uh, the patchwork dies. Fantastic price for you uh, on those patchwork dies, remember. You should be paying £39.99 or £39.95. Uh, so pretty much at £40 wherever you are for each one of those. So for the jewel and for the clamshell, in this configuration today, you get both of them for less than the price of one, which is absolutely amazing. <coughs> 2559 uh, wherever you are for platinum members which is awesome value for money uh, patchwork is something that well, it's always been popular hasn't it but it's never going to go out of fashion it's one of those things when sewing you just know it's evergreen it it's going to last forever yes it's it's I mean I, I did some research and I think we, they've traced some back to like the 1300s that they could find people were actually patchworking um, and there was a lot of it's the quarter inch, like the, the inch style of things is because that's how, because it's quite um, big in the US. Any of our US viewers will know that obviously over here we we metric, but when anyone who's doing any sonar patchwork will work in Imperial because that's how the patchwork world is. Um, so it makes it easier to read patterns and to... Um, sort of get something from either side of the, of the world, wherever you're based, we are working on the same measurements. So, um, but yeah, these, this duo that we've got here, so we've got the jewel, which is this one, and you're getting the four different sizes in here as well. I've, so I've got this cushion here, because I just absolutely love it. I think it's just so vibrant as well. Do you know the well. thing is as well, when it's pieced together, now you've said it, I can see that it's from that die set, but I don't, my brain doesn't immediately see that shape. It sees a flower shape. It doesn't see the, the actual uh, die shape. That's it. And it, to say it again, it's the use of fabric and they all tessellate as well together. So that's the, let me move that out the way because I'm going to get in a muddle. So that's the jewel in the set, which I'm going to demo that one first, but I just want to show you the clamshell. Again, the clamshell, you're getting those four different sizes in there. Now, people might be looking at that and going, ooh, curves, don't, don't do curves, don't like them. And um, I'm going to show you an actually really quick and simple way to do it. And you can actually make something like this. I mean, look, look at that quilt. And that's actually a plique on as well. But you can see that effect, and obviously that's all striped with one colour. Um, but you can use your different colours as well. I've used our flutter fabric today, I've used three different colours. You'll see what sort of combination we have. It's all about the accuracy when you're cutting your shapes. And because you've got dies, we'll, we've looked after that accuracy for you. Um, like I said, these are our multimedia dies, so these are one and a half mil thick. So these will go through anything from maybe 20, 30... Um, pieces of tissue paper, if not more. I'm, I'm not sure how many issues. Um, how many tissue paper, um, pieces of tissue paper do you need? Um, is what I'm wondering. 
<laughs> you know. Oh, I need 700 diamond shaped pieces of tissue paper, please. Yes. I know just the woman for the job. <laughs> yes. Well, if you use the little ones, John, you could put them all in a little and then if they empty the bag. I watched your show the other day. Happy birthday, by oh, the way, John. Happy thank birthday. You. I was well and truly really spoiled, wasn't I? It was hilarious. When, <laughs> when the bangers, uh, the confetti was coming off at the end, your face was a picture. <laughs> it was really lovely to watch, yeah. Oh, you, it was you, so were very great. Spoiled. you were I very was spoiled. Very well looked after. <laughs> But what you find is these will all fit together. Um, and I can see you're getting the four different sizes. So if you're using the, even the two larger sizes, I'm going to use the third largest today, you can see that your project will come together really, really quickly. And because this, I mean, the jewel basically um, is a hexagon with a triangle on the top. So if I, let me just get one I've cut. So here's one I've cut here. If I actually just fold that down, can you see now oh, you've got a hexagon? you've shattered the illusion now. Next you'll be telling me uh, a unicorn, just a, ho a horse with a <laughs> horn on the front of it. <laughs> and then, this is your triangle. <laughs> Oop, on the top, you've got Absolutely. I didn't even see it like that. Yeah, now you see it I'll like not that. unsee that now. And even, I suppose you could, you could make it into like a kite as well. You could have a kite with it. So if you're doing um, fabrics on a, a children's quilt, possibly, um, you know, again, it depends on your, on what design and what colours you want to use. So I've got six layers of our um, flutter fabric here. And I'm just going to pop this through. Now, I'm using the Junior because they... Now, let me check the biggest one. I think they'll all... Yes. So all of the jewel will go through your Junior. Awesome. And then let me quickly check... I'm not sure about the clamshell. Oh, yes, it will. There you go. Fabulous. That's the biggest one of the clamshells. So these will all go through your junior. So is the clamshell, then, is that a traditional sort of shape or style um, for patchwork, Bernie? It is, yeah. It's a bit like, um, there's another one, Joe, if you've heard of it, called Apple Core. Mm -hmm. um, you've got Drunkard's Path. They've got the curves in as well. Oh, I know that They're one well. They're all regular um, shapes that you'll come across, um, that you will come across. So I've got my six layers of fabric on here and then I'm going to pop my die on and I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape on just to keep it so it doesn't move. I'll just pop that. And I always put it onto the tape, onto the fabric, onto the metal, but because I haven't got any metal to stick it there, I'm just going to stick it to that top bit of fabric. And then I've got my plastic shim and my other clear plate. And I say if you've got your big Gemini, you could still use your junior plates through there. I do that quite often. It goes through quicker as well. It does indeed. Um, what is any difference in our the um, sandwich combo? Is it the same for our thin metal die combo when we use the uh, larger, uh, deeper dies? So no. So it's a slightly different one. So and if you cut in obviously fabric as well, you're going to have your clear plate, then your metal shim, then your fabric, right? Then your die, then your plastic shim, and your other clear plate. Awesome. on the top um, you can cut um, a layer of fabric with a thin metal die if you like rather than the um, multimedia ones okay but, but you're only going to do one or two well, layers if that, but well, I mean look at that am I right in remembering someone talked about using stabiliser as well if you're using a thin metal die or have I made that up oh yes our no you haven't made it up Joe our because um, I make all sorts of stabiliser um, I'm not sure if we have it in stock because I know we we did we didn't we had run out of stock. I know everything. Sometimes the things struggling to get things in, isn't it? In the current climate, it's there on the website um, apparently. Oh, if we've got the fabric stabilizer on, yes. It so you're going to saturate your fabric with that, um, iron it, let it dry and iron it, and then what will happen is you can put your extra your layers of fabric, put one layer on with the stabilizer on, and it is going to cut help you cut with your thinner metal dies. But the multimedia ones are made for multiple cuts of fabric. So obviously if you're going to be using, if you're going to be making a project with it, chances are you're going to be cutting a lot of pieces. Um, so that's why the thicker, the deeper dish dies, if you like, some people call them deep dish dies, they're going to cut through extra layers. Awesome. So all I've done here, I've cut six here, and this is where you're going to start to play. And I've got three of the fabrics here. I don't know if we've got any of them. I know we haven't got the blue well, or the I think pink we've only, Are we still is it how long are we getting gone? on with the uh, fabrics? I feel like we've only got bottle green, purple and 
Sun, golden sun. Oh, sunshine. sunshine. That's a one, Oh, antique yeah. gold. I like the antique gold. I think that's yeah, lush. Yeah, they are all gorgeous. Absolutely lush. Uh, just those three, bottle green, purple, and the sunshine uh, are the three we've got in stock. So if you want them, do grab them. You'll need to be fast for them. They were very busy. A lot of those went, actually, before we came live today. I feel like now, you know, a lot of our savvy shoppers are programmed, Bernie, that they get up in the morning and they just go straight to the website and they have a look at the shows yes. that are coming up. Because all the deals are live, you know, for the later show as well. Because, of course, this isn't the only show today. I'm going to be back a little bit later today with Craig. Craig uh, for launch party and we've got a brand new Crafters TV exclusive launch. It's going to be very exciting. Fabulous. Well, I'll see Craig then before I go. I'll be you will in. see Craig. Yay. So I've laid those out that way with the points going out. And if I just lay this one over the top, this is one I've already stitched together. And I've spoiled my big reveal because, you know, I spoiled myself, Joe, because I was going to do, I was going to say, oh, look, there's a hexagon. But I haven't got a hexagon. How have I got a hexagon? And then I was oh, going to show you how knew. we do now it. We know. Oh, you've, so you've... I've spoilt my own joke there, Joe. <laughs> spoiled As it As Debbie would say, what are you like? <laughs> but what I, all I do to get that hexagon in the centre there, before you would stitch them all together, is I'd take, I've got one of them cut, and I'm just going to fold it over at the point, and that's revealing that triangle extra there and then i'm just going to trim up if i just grab my ruler i'm just going to trim up along there keep that for another project because i don't like chucking any fabric out <laughs> oh, I've have you got a big scrap have you got a big scraps like bin or bucket or what what is it i've actually got a kitchen bin 42 litre oh, bin in my sewing room that is full of scraps. It's not my rubbish bin. I have another bin that's my rubbish bin. That one's my scrap bin. And the thing is, it'll probably like take me three days to sort it out. But yeah, I'll put them all in there. So that's where you're getting it that way on, where you can join them that way. The other way is if you then join them together by the points, and then you're going to stitch them together. And all you're going to do to stitch them together, I'll stitch one quickly just so you can see. Thing, is I'm doing it that way. So you're going to bring one over. And basically, all you're doing is you're lying the piece directly on top. So if I take this here, you can't see that um, orchid one underneath. Okay. And that's, that's what you want. And then all I'm going to do is quickly stitch down there. And with this one here as well, the other thing is what they, what you may find is you might look and go, ooh, um, Y seams. You've got a Y seam. I'll show you the Y seam in a second. But with these ones, you don't actually get one. So what a Y seam is, is this section here. So if I, I, if I wanted to join a few of these together and I'm, say I'm going to put that piece in there. Can you see there? I've got a Y. Yes. In there. So what it means is you're going to have to join this bit on here. You're going to negotiate that bit, but then, oh, hang on, I need to then sew that little bit on that bit. So with this method, you don't have that problem because what you're going to do is sew those two together. Sew your pink on, so you've got a half, and then sew these three together, so you've got a half, and then you'd sew them both together. So if I flip this over where I've joined it and see there I have my two oh, halves yes. and see there's my seam and then when I've stitched them together Perfect. you're getting them up like that so oh, can I, awesome top tip can I quickly show you the clamshell yes please as uh, Suli says uh, the clamshells are, are so cool I'm dying to try them she says um, Celine also says thanks for the tip about lengthening the stitch length uh, I had the problem when doing the pleats on my mask uh, I'll try it next time super tip uh, I just love the Be Happy Fabric, says Asuli as well. You're not alone there, Asuli. It's very, very busy. Um, a Shadaya has gone for the fabric cutter. The fat quarters and the stencil, she's letting me know. She had a right old, uh, uh, a right old treat today, which she is has, always... She well treat yourself. Maybe we could start a new thing. You know, you have like hump day on a Wednesday and throw back Thursday. Maybe treat yourself, treat yourself Tuesdays could be a new yes. thing. What do you think? That just sounds whatever like you want to buy from wherever. Don't worry. It's Treat Yourself Tuesday. I can tell you I've bought some new moisturiser today, so I am fully embracing uh, Treat Yourself Tuesday. Um, so, yeah, do it. 
excellent. You have to treat yourself, don't you? You yeah. do. You Absolutely. do. Absolutely. <gasps> we could have wine and dine Wednesday as well, producer oh. Georgina's just said. <gasps> I'm oh, yes. technically off tomorrow, Joe. So right. when for you, are well, you saying you're open for being wined and dined? Is so, that what you're saying? Okay. Yeah, I don't have to get up early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've got my clamshell here. Now, I just want to show something that I, when I first started using the Gemini, I was a little bit worried about um, my fabric getting caught in the rollers inside the machine. So I thought, well, hang on a minute. I've got this, this fabric here. So what I want to do is when you're cutting, you want to be really frugal. And if you're like me, you're even more frugal. That you don't want to waste the fabric. So I'm thinking, right, well, if I'm going to cut one there, I'm going to cut one there. I want to be able to cut all the way down here and get the most out of my fabric. But I've got all this fabric here that's surplus that obviously is going to get jammed in the rollers. So I thought. But it doesn't. Because what happens is, as soon as your plates go through, the machine recognises that the plates are in there with the sensors and it knows that you're putting something through to cut. It does its job and as soon as the plates have gone through those rollers, the machine oh. knows and it releases. So I was like this, I was like, oh my God. That's going to get tangled in the rollers. I didn't know you've got dangly bits through there. So I've got dangly bits. Wow. So watch, watch me dangly bits, Joe. And your dangly bits don't get dirty, which is awesome. There, look, look. Oh. And it just comes straight through. Oh, fabulous. And I was amazed at that because I was thinking, oh, you'll have to cut your small yeah, piece. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And get, you know, and then you're going to waste fabric. I mean, look, at that's just it's just fantastic how well that cuts. Obviously, I'm not going to cut all them today because... I want to, I want to do some more, I want to do some more. So we'll get rid of that, that's going on in my scrap bin. And then, this is, now here's one I made earlier. Now I did have time to play yesterday, and I've made, on the variation of that quilt, I've started a cushion front cover. Oh, look at this. Bernie, this is gorgeous. Look at this, isn't this fab? Now, I just want to run quickly through what I've done. Um, I can't believe the time, Joe. How quick? How it's quick? Gone. Where does it go? I know how quick's the show gone. And what I've done here is now the first thing I did was I used my reference guide to get my centre point here, so I could make sure that I had it all lined up. And then what I did, and I'm going to peel some of these back so you can see. What you want to do is start from the middle. You automatically want to start from here yes. and work up. But you don't, because what you're going to do is you're going to cover these little legs up. And I've left the bottom row just to do. And then also, your overhang is fine, because when you put your seam together, they're all going to get stitched in your seam. So you don't need to, you don't need to say, oh, well, I need to cut half of one. I don't have a half of one die. You don't need to. You, it's just a little tiny bit of waste. And then what you're going to do is put this on now. Joe, I'm excited. Guess guess who has come to visit me today? Oh, I've no idea. Who could it be? Brenda the spray <gasps> booth. Brenda the spray booth. I've never used Brenda have before. I'm not? so excited. Oh, if you've not met Brenda yet, you're going to be blown so away. We'll you ready? bring Brenda in. Here she comes. This is Brenda. <laughs> how fab is Brenda? So this well, our is how our uh, Georgina is like. I've not seen this before. This is Brenda. We used to have Brenda the spray booth, and it was just a box, just a cardboard box uh, that you lay things on, spray them, and then it got upgraded, and someone actually built Brenda the spray booth. She goes all around the world. She's always She's... off on HSN and creating crafts. Sometimes she comes here to craft as TV with us. She's quite. She's quite a legend. She's amazing. She's amazing. So what I'm doing here is I'm got now I'm going to do this um, and she's collapsible as well, you know. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh, I'm not. No, maybe don't collapse her. it just yet. But. No. <laughs> I don't want to be getting into trouble. My first time uh, using Brenda. <laughs> so I'm also going to use, and it's not the first time I've used this, <laughs> the stick and stay. So this is the permanent adhesive spray. So we had the stick and spray, which is the temporary one. Now you could use this one for this but then you would have to stitch them down. So I'm doing a no saw method for the cushion front and I'm going to use the stick and stay. So when this one comes out, the stick and spray is more clear. This one comes out more white, a bit more chalky coloured. So we're just going to give it a good shake. Just to activate it. And top tips it. for using our spray adhesives then? Uh, anything I'm going to have to, to turn mind. 
So always have them in a ventilated area. I mean, we've got a big, big room here with uh, the windows. But always use it in a vent ventilated area. Give it a good shake. And then you're just going to spray it. Now, as you can see, what can happen is it can move and get all over your workplace. But because we've got Brenda. Oh, good old Brenda. And I'm just going to put that one on and then get that one as well. And it does, it puts a bit like a chalky... A chalky Is it dry clear? Mark on there. It actually glues, so it does dry clear, but it's permanent. Awesome. So you're not and even not if it goes in the washing machine. Permanent. Awesome. Up to forty degrees. Brilliant. And it's dry cleanable. Awesome. So I think it's one of the things like you know, if you've got like a hem that's come down on a pair of trousers or something, you just want to put it up. Or even you want to just, I've got a couple of pairs of shorts and I love them with a turn in them, but they always come down. A little bit of that on the bottom, Ooh, turn them up, keeps them up. It's brilliant. Even things like your shirts as well, the little around the edge of your uh, sleeve, if you want to turn them up and then spray it down. It's really brilliant for loads of different things. It that. is really good. Obviously, I can't say that I'm going to take stuff up with it because, like, I should be sewing it, shouldn't I? Fran, <laughs> Fran says she wants a Brenda. Uh, she <laughs> needs to get Liam to do a tutorial. Liam, uh, oh is my the, god, Liam's yes. the guy that does all of our on-air graphics. They're over here uh, and builds all of these for us. But he also built Brenda, and also he built this counter, which is in front of me. He's very handy, our Liam. He's brilliant, Liam. He's uh, yeah, he's he's very good uh, with his DIY skills. He is indeed. So what I'm doing here is, so I've, I've stuck the bottom of them. Now, I'm just going to put some fabric on my ironing board because I don't want to get um, glue all over the ironing board. So, because I've sprayed all the way down. Imagine if I make a mess of the ironing board. Is it your personal trouble. one? No. Oh. No, I'll be in trouble. So I'm going to put them on there. There we go. Um, so, and all I'm doing is, I'm just following my colours. And I say, I've used three colours here, but when you lay it over, you just lay it over the stalks of the one before. And then if I just dye in the bit on the white, because obviously I don't want to stick it to my green. It's actually permanent until you iron it. Okay. Uh, sorry, temporary until you iron it. So if you do put it in a bit wonky, you can reposition well, it until good. you iron it. Yeah. So I'll pop them two on. And then what you're going to do is, I mean, I'm looking at this thinking like a mermaid. It does look like fish scales, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, with the colours. Oh, do you know what I see? Rolling hills is what I see. Oh, yeah. Somewhere like Tuscany or somewhere like well, that. Well, also, there's that, um, and I don't know where it came from, but there's a, a quirky thing that you'll see online where you'll do the clamshell like this. And then on one or the odd one, you turn it into a panda or a cat. What? And you would just have one. That's amazing. Yeah. So it doesn't look fab. And then if I just peel that off there, there we go. And that now is our front cover that you can then just, you'd get, I'm, I'm not going to sew it today, but you put your back on. I've just got two backs on that you're going to put. An envelope back on and then all you do i'll just line it up so you can see where you would sew it or you can put a zip if you want to do it with a zip um but i'm just going to flip it over because can you see the overhang here yes. so what you do is you would just um sew from this side and then all of that is just going to trim off and then when you've turned it through obviously you're going to have this effect and i think that for the clamshell you could stitch it if you wanted to with the sewing machine because you've ironed that, that's permanent, so that's not going to come off. And that's, awesome. I love the clamshell. I think it's just so effective. And basically, all we've done is glued the fabric onto the fabric, haven't we? Brilliant. Love that. So if you didn't sew, uh, another great way of creating something absolutely awesome there as well. Uh, Fran, yes, saying she wants a Brenda. Should I say, Bernie, you are the best. Uh, and Rebecca uh, is saying, uh, very pretty. Pam, Pam Marshall on Facebook, she's new here. Hello, Pam. It's always lovely uh, to have uh, new viewers joining us all the time. Uh, we're having a, we are coming to the end, unfortunately. We've had a very, very busy uh, Soft Side Live show. Remember, this is only one half of your day here on Crafters TV. Myself and Craig, are coming up a little bit later. Stay there, right? I'm going to give you a sneak peek. I know this is really naughty, right? Are you saying, look, later, today's show, later today, something, oh, brand new coming up for you in the later show.
you're gonna have to tune in in just over an hour if you wanna see some brand new stamps that are launching. They've been very, very busy already uh, over on the website. If you wanna get ahead and have a look at the latest show as well, you can do that. Uh, go over to the website. Uh, whereas you'd normally click shop the show on the home screen, instead click offers, scroll down and click launched, uh, launch party and you'll see all the stuff that's coming up later as well. It's gonna be an awesome show uh, with myself and Craig. No doubt uh, a few giggles thrown in as well. Right, should we have a little bit of a recap of some of the stuff that you've seen in this show? Let's start with those Be Happy strip rolls. Now these are brilliant because they are a buy one, get one half. Uh, no, they're a buy one, get one free. I'm always shortchanging you there. Uh, you are saving what you're spending, 17.99 or 17.95. 18 strips on each of those. So 36 strips total there, uh, which is awesome value. That panel is still proving to be very busy even as we come towards the end of the show here now. 9.99 if you want to grab your, uh, get your hands on that one. Uh, remember also that five piece fat quarter pack that we had. 9.99 uh, to get you five gorgeous Peter Rabbit fat quarters. Uh, way over half of that one's gone. The mark away you also saw Bernie using as well. 7.99. Uh, here, as you can see, uh, which is when it's kind of like chalk in a can. So if you're a bit funny about chalk like me, it just makes you, gives you the heebie-jeebies, then uh, you can definitely use this instead, would be awesome. Uh, 40, uh, 7.99, sorry, there. We've also got that fabric cutter that you saw Bernie demonstrating in this show. This is really brilliant, because if you want those clear, precise cuts every single time, and let's face it, once you've got your cutting out done uh, very precisely, it's gonna make everything else much easier for you. And this really uh, allows you to get those precise cuts every single time. $47.99 or $71.99 if you want to get your hands on that one. Uh, we've also got for you in the show, we've got the Shape Cutter Collection as well. In here you've got the hexagon, uh, two diamonds, the tumbler, and the circle in here as well. Now I know we are fast running out of time, Bernie. We've only got about three or four minutes left, but you wanted to squeeze in a really quick demo on this, I believe. Honestly, Joe, I had low, you know, I always over prep, always do. The first thing I want to show you is the tumbler. Just as an example, with this shape cutter, I'm going to show you these are all the sizes. If I do them this way, these are all the sizes that you can do as a full tumbler. Then you can cut it as a half size as well. You're going to have the same with a hexagon, the same with a 45 degree diamond or triangle, the same with a 60 degree diamond or triangle and the same which is my favorite i know we're not supposed to have favorites circles i mean Love look the at the circle the, look at the accuracy there if you're going to try and cut circles freehand and then semicircles i nearly called them half circles <laughs> you know you're not going to get that accuracy um doing it freehand so you've got all those different sizes if i look at the tumbler one i'll put that one upside down you're going to have your packaging Keep an eye on the packaging when it comes because you've got all of your helpful instructions on the back and it's going to tell you how you're going to cut out a full one, a half one, and then join two together to make a full one as well. And you can see that quilt just to, oh, that way. <laughs> that one is actually made with the tumblers, that quilt there. So awesome. you can just see that you've got those blocks of colour. Again, it depends on your colour choice on what you're going to do but you've got all of those different shapes i'm actually i'm not going to do the tumbler i'm going to do the hexagon really quickly because i've got a fab quilt to show you with it as well <clears throat> so what's happening with these is you've got markings on here so when you get yours home you're going to look at it and you've got the half a shape with it like a grid which is what your rotary blades are going to go into you've got a placement line and you've got a dashed line the difference between those two lines is quarter of an inch so that's really important for when you're cutting your fabric because what it tells you on the instructions how to do it as well so you're not going to get stuck and think well what do i do with the placement line basically i'm going to do a whole hexagon and i'm going to use the strip rolls but for this first bit i'm just going to use a bigger bit of fabric just so you can see the effect so what I'm going to do here is I've folded my fabric. Awesome. So I've just got a piece of fabric and I've folded it. Is it a good idea to press it for these, um, Bernie? Yes. Always before when you're cutting any fabric, press it before. If you press it after, what can happen? It, it can misshape. And if you had a crease in when you were cutting, when you then iron, that crease is going to distort your fabric as well. 
so I've placed the placement line on the fold of my fabric I'm actually going to cut the biggest one here and then what I'm doing is your blade actually sits in that groove so it's not going to move anywhere so I'm going to go along that side, I'm going to go along the top. Now remember when we were talking about the fabric cutter, you don't really cut towards you. With the fabric cutter you can because you've got that guide at the end that's going to stop it. You should not be cutting this way. So what you do is you just shuffle it, I'm moving to the right, I'm moving to the right on purpose this time. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're just going to go up this side, the blade again is going in that groove, and then you're getting your perfect Oh, how shape awesome. With that. Yeah. Really now, simple. I've been playing with the strip rolls. So I've got here, I've sewn three strip rolls together, three strips together, two green and the red. And then I've just folded it in half. I'm going to fold that, get that a little bit neater. And there we go. So I'm going to fold that in half. I'm going to repeat that same thing that I did. I'm going to do a smaller hexagon just so I can fit it on my fabric so which one shall I do the six and a half so again I've lined that placement line up if I wanted just to cut a half hexi what you would do is line up your um edge of your fabric with the dashed line okay so it just cuts over the edge then and it, it cuts over the edge and it gives you a quarter inch seam allowance for you to join two together so are we ready for this one there we oh, go. awesome, love that. So if you try to cut that piece, that piece and that piece, then join them together to make a perfect hexagon, you're not going to have it. But by using these, you've got that accuracy every time and the safety of you're not wobbling off because your blade's going through that groove. I love, I love a groove, love a groove, mm, Major. Really awesome. Uh, massive thanks, Bernie. It's been a pleasure spending uh, this uh, Tuesday with you in the sewing room for the Soft Side of Life. Uh, no doubt we'll see you back here again very, very soon uh, here on Crafters TV. Don't forget to check out your baskets. Very busy on those fat quarters and that panel as well and uh, the uh, fabric strip roll too. Uh, don't go anywhere though. You've got... Uh, uh, just under an hour now until myself and Craig are back here uh, for the launch party uh, in about an hour's time. So get yourself a cuppa, do what you need to do uh, and join me back here in an hour. Take care.